mic check, make sure. Can everybody hear me okay? Sorry guys, I'm a little late. I'm just starting out a new streaming software. Bear with me here. All right, so overall markets open strong. I mean, they have slightly faded, a little bit of an intraday bounce, but what I'm observing is you have this Dixie chart, this absolutely phenomenal, so strong at the moment, up on the session another 0.25%. So pushing the indices down, the S&P is negative at the moment. CQQ is holding up a little bit better. It's actually positive. Russell's gone negative as well. We are still seeing continuous sell side pressure in the markets. Oil's being hit today. Uh, gas is down 2.87%. So definitely some pretty intense sell side pressure uh, that is occurring in the markets. Hopefully the volume. Hey Bart, does it sound okay? Yeah, I'm just playing around with some of these sounds. actually getting punished as far as and that's the I'll play around with this one more second I'll change what I'm trying to do <coughs> mic check mic check volume time actually can you barely hear me okay I'll, I'll figure this out guys sorry about the uh, technical issues just starting some new streaming software check mic check mic check testing one two three Try my other mic. Better, that's better. Does that sound better? Testing one, two, three. <clears throat> All right, Bart says it's better. Tom says it's better. Whiskey business, how about you? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Right now we're seeing NVIDIA potentially breaking out of a little bit of a 10 minute bull flag structure. Apple's looking strong today, but remember the Dixie is just rippling here, having a red to green reversal. So that could put additional pressure on the major indices. We are seeing the Russell and the S&P at the moment giving it up. So definitely some weakness in the commodity space today. Gold still holding strong. 10 year up again, 30 year up again, VIX is up again. So we're in a scenario now where the market's potentially, again, going through a bit of a distribution process. Nat gas getting pummeled again, guys. Again, guys, the I'm just playing around with the volume settings, the stream settings. I am using some new software, some
new streaming software. It's kind of the first run at it today, which is why I get a little bit delayed. Morning, Peter. Hopefully you can hear me, Peter Mike Deck. Just getting set up here. All right, QQQ trying to push higher here. So mega cap tech is kind of diverging from the S&P a bit. Nat gas is uh, into the daily seven moving average. There's a bit of a day trade long on Nat gas in this region. Just recognize though it is weak on this session, but you are coming up into some daily chart support, which is your seven day moving average sitting at that 192.87 zone. So hopefully we should get a little bit of an intraday bounce in that gas off of this zone. At the moment, the S&P is bouncing just a touch. What's interesting is uh, every sector in the S&P 500 right now. Your volume is max, Lauren. You can barely hear me. Okay, good to know. Let's see if I can adjust some things here. How's that sound, guys? Better? Mic check. Peter's also saying the sound is very low. Sorry, guys, we're just figuring this out. Just figuring this out a little bit. We will get there. I'm going to play around with the gain and some of the audio settings. Now it's good. 100%. Okay. Perfect. We're, we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Thanks for the patience today. Again, at the moment, we're seeing NVIDIA continuation strength up 1.5%. NVIDIA, Microsoft are kind of lifting the cues at the moment. Apple's also up 0.8. SMCI is up 3. So semis are seeing some... Uh, some strength today. Oops. You can't hear, Laura? You still can't hear? A lot of other people are saying they can hear. Peter, great. Bart, yep. Tom, Laura. Laura can't hear. How about now, Laura? Can you hear? I'm still showing audio on my end. So perhaps there's uh, some audio difficulties on your end. Does that sound louder, guys? Look at this dollar just ripping. Oh my goodness gracious me. We're heading to 106 pretty darn quickly here on that Dixie chart. Tommy's saying it's a bit low, but I can hear you. Tom, louder than the voices in my head. <laughs> Laura, it might help if you use headphones. I'm not too sure if that'll help you at all. But kind of my uh, audio settings here are, are getting to the max. All right, let's just settle back into this market. So again, we are seeing the S&P trading at 513.14. Nat gas has had a sell-off, and I think this is a bit of an entry on the long side. 
I do think that we could potentially play Boyle UNG here, but just recognize it is in a pretty harsh downtrend at the moment, as on the day, downtrend on the day, I should say. But you are into some first level of support. There is a gap fill sitting on UNG roughly at 1487. 1487. Every sector in the S&P is red except for XLK. So a lot of sell side pressure today being the fact that yields are up again and the dollar's up again. NVIDIA pushing for new highs on the session. So NVIDIA is pushing for new highs on the session. So your thoughts on uh, NVIDIA shorting since yesterday? Yeah, NVIDIA uh, looks like it could press to the 20-day moving average, which is sitting at 894.38. You might be able to get an intraday scalp. Let me actually pull up the chart. Just give me a moment here. So really, the daily chart resistance is coming up shortly. If we look at NVDA, so NVIDIA's had that stellar, stellar move. There's just something that we need to be cautious of, the fact that NVIDIA has triggered a bit of this bullish pattern breakout, little inverted head and shoulders pattern, has triggered, which does suggest more upside for NVIDIA. So I mean, just based off of this 10 minute chart pattern here, if we do a measured move, that pattern could suggest NVIDIA all the way back to 914. So now I'm just going to remove all those drawings. If we look at the daily chart resistance, I'm going to throw on the 20 day, which is actually, this is the 25 day. Let me just change the setting. So your 20 day is sitting at 894. You are coming up into that previous red bar reversal here at 888. So there could be resistance here, a shortable resistance, but just keep that tight stop loss because you know, there's always a chance that you can push up to this 894 zone. That's going to be your bigger daily chart resistance, but you are coming up into that red bar reversal. So there should be some sellers there, but just recognize NVIDIA is showing pretty bullish momentum at this point in time. gas continuing to bleed lower now down 3.13% on the session. Apple's breaking out here. Qs are just ripping. Really not to... Uh, Qs are absolutely flying here. I check. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Is anyone hearing static on their end? Still playing around with some of these sound volumes. And we are 
are seeing cannabis stocks under pressure, oil, NAC gas under pressure, like plastic bag bark. Okay, let me turn this compressor down. How's the volume check now? Is it a little bit better? The mic, the new mic I'm using is just super, super sensitive and I'm just playing around with it. It's really the first time I'm using it here on the live stream. All right, Meta is actually looking a little bit weak, guys. I think there could be a bit of a short trade on Meta. So let's look at Meta. Meta's putting in a little bit of this distribution pattern. Guys, I'm gonna take a stab on the short side of Meta here. It got filled at 519.38. It's a one fourth position. One fourth position short META. 519.38. My stop loss on this trade is probably just gonna be around this 520.23. Again, it's only a one fourth position. So fairly light on the session. That gas is still bleeding. I am interested in a long on UNG, guys. There's a bit of a long on UNG coming into play. Your phone was five seconds lag to your desktop. Very weird, Laura. It's kind of interesting to know. Very interesting. All right, so at the moment we're just short meta guys, META, it's a starter position. We're looking for a potential breakdown here. And I'm gonna pick up a long on UNG here at 1508. This is also a starter position, 1508 long UNG. So I'll remove the NAC gas chart, 1508 long UNG. One fourth position, just recognize that it could go down to about see here on the charts 1487 could go down to how's the sound now Bart Laura Tom Peter is it a little bit better I actually had my master volume turned down a touch Still just figuring out this gain and compressor mode. Trying to remove the static. NAC gas storage forecast plus 15, actual plus 25. Okay, thank you, Bart. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate that very, very much. So Tesla's uh, actually seeing more weakness today. So it seems that that short-lived pop Yeah, yesterday I was using uh I've I've been streaming off of TradingView recently over the last couple, I don't know, a couple of years of their streaming software. But TradingView ended their live streams and they're switching to um, more of their longer recorded videos. And now I'm using some external streaming software to hook up to YouTube. So I have a new mic that's plugged in, Roland Aircaster, so a few more different settings. I will be adding some additional pages because I have some handy dandy features here, but we're just taking it slow, trying to get this volume corrected. Good now, thank you. Bart is saying compared to yesterday, meh. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. We're gonna master it. And we will be back in the swing of things. Right now we're still in the trade, meta. Meta working out and UNG. So two trades, one short, one long. Long UNG, short meta. We are in the money already on meta. And I'm looking for more downside. Probably get a move down to this little neckline zone. That's what I'm looking at on meta, which would give us roughly about a dollar sixty-eight gain. We're up about uh, forty cents a share. Nothing crazy at the moment, but I am looking for about a move down to this target, this neckline. That's probably where I'd cover. 
wait for a little micro bounce for potential bear flag and then I do think we could actually break this little head and shoulders pattern on the two minute chart obviously it's risky shorting meta right now because of the fact that um, uh, the keys are so strong Nvidia pressing higher but we're seeing some weakness creeping back into Amazon and meta Tesla. So it's really semiconductors again at the moment that are kind of keeping things at bay. The strength we have the Russell and the, and the SPY in negative, but the keys are holding positive gains. So are we going to see a bit of an intraday reversal potentially? Google's potentially putting in a lower high on the day. We'll see if it actually translates to that. Nvidia is tagging that previous daily chart resistance, so there should be some sellers here. You know, it's an aggressive short, but uh, again, you do have the backup of yields and dollar and VIX being strong, so you could see a sell-off here. QQQ hitting 440, seeing a little bit of minor selling at the moment. We are seeing Mac Ash trying to push up. This could be just flat on that trade. Let's go to the five-minute chart of Mac Ash, see how we're trading. So UMG still coming in again right now knack ash did uh, hit the daily seven moving average so it's been a nice check back to support and it's going to be interesting to see if it can hold here or not oil again weak on the session down 123 lululemon continuing to fall Pretty miraculous to see that Lululemon is just bleeding, 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 bleeding. Now I have one, two, three, it's on its fourth consecutive down week, blasting through the weekly 200 MA. And WBA under a little bit of pressure again, down 1%, silver slightly negative. That NVIDIA short. Uh, did prove to be a little bit of an entry zone. You can see there's been a minor little pullback that's right off of that previous daily resistance, that red bar resistance. So you can see we actually pierced it. And now Nvidia is seeing a little bit of sell side pressure off of that zone. So we'll put the cues back on because they are the leading indice at the moment. And again, the cues are maybe putting in a lower high, but then there's a secondary pattern that we need to watch out for. So cues could be developing a left shoulder here ahead and then if this turns into a right shoulder we need to watch for a break of this little neckline because then that could give us a nice intraday push to the upside now I'm a little bit skeptical of it because of the yields the dollar and the VIX but just recognize that if we trigger this neckline there could be a move back up to about 442.50 on the chart so we'll watch that closely because we are in a meta short and at the moment meta will basically just flat QQQ still trying to come in a bit just need to move some of these moving averages makes the chart a little bit more difficult to read keep the EMA 113 on Alright, UNG getting a nice little pop here guys off that zone. Typically you've seen UNG react positively and markets end up seeing some sell side pressure. So let's see if that plays out. Good. Nvidia seeing some sellers. Bitcoin's under a lot of pressure today. Looks like BTC is seeing some pretty decent downward pressure at the moment. We also have cannabis stocks under immense pressure. Nice little pop in UNG. Qs are falling here just a touch more. pop in UNG guys Tom says it's good now perfect guys we're starting to uh, get some things under control so 
still working around with this compressor and gain button, so hopefully we can even fine tune it a little bit more. But overall, UMG is getting a nice pop off that 15k8 level. Keys are seeing a little bit of downside. Remember, this could be a bullish pattern unfolding. You really got to watch it closely. What's interesting is about the keys here is you had that range that you traded in yesterday, right? The range boundary in this zone. You can see the keys broke above it, gapped up above it, retested really the center point, the halfway point, got back above it, and now you're trying to get a little bit of momentum to the upside. Net is trying to push up. So right now you have uh, Tesla weak on the session in terms of mega caps down 1.3. Net is slightly negative. Google is green. Microsoft is green. Nvidia is green. Amazon is green. All sectors of the S&P 500 are negative except for XLK. So this is a bit of a sell-off. Dow transplants are actually contracting too. So this little sell-off, ooh, look at Meta, guys. Look at Meta go. So this little sell-off in the S&P and IWM is part and parcel likely due to the dollar moving higher here, putting pressure on the emerging markets. Adjusted another setting here. Yeah, I keep uh, looking away in my mic's uh, position here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's hard because I'm looking at multiple screens. My mic's in front of me, so if I turn my head right or my head left, sometimes it doesn't pick it up. I will get it sorted. I'm just still playing around with the stream mic. Actually, it should be better than my old mic. It's more expensive. So I'll try to just put both of them on. Okay. Probably work. Adjusting the mic. Alright guys, I just stopped out of meta there at 520.16, 520.16 for a loss, I apologize about that trade, but meta is breaking this pivot high, you can see the keys are going for that neckline, will we get a little bit of a rally here in the queues, let's find out. Cues are trying to break this inverse head and shoulders. Meta's falling. Let's look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA's going for a new high of day, trying to push higher. Tesla's now firming up. All right, there goes the break on the cues. So QQQ is trying to press higher at the moment. It'll likely lift the entire equity markets if we continue to see it push. NVIDIA is ripping. So this is primarily a uh, mega cap tech rally. There are some individual names that are holding up, but at this point, this is pretty much just a tech rally at the moment. Wow, Brent is up 147%. You can't hear it all, Laura? All right, so QQQ is trying to break out of that inverse head and shoulders. They are getting that uh, confirmed break. We 
if you're finding some sellers here in this range. So a little bit of a fake breakout potential. You're still just consolidating on that neckline at the moment. So things are still okay for the pattern. QQQ getting slightly rejected at that resistance. Just minor rejection, nothing crazy. Uh, you still have a very strong tech market through the semiconductors and mega caps. Apple trying to press, Google trying to press, Meta is still trying to press higher. Nat gas still struggling in this region, but trying to firm up just a touch. The S&P looks like it's trying to go green at the moment. So again, is this market going to break out? We're looking at a potential breakout on the Qs trying to be established here. QQQ getting some minor sell side pressure. All right, guys, I'm going to take a short on NVIDIA here. 888.10 got filled at 888.10. 888.10. And we're just going to use the high of day on a two-minute closing basis as our stop loss. So high of day on a two-minute closing basis as our stop loss, okay? Eight eighty eight ten. We are short Nvidia. Let's see if we can get a retrace back to this previous little support zone. Nat gas getting faded yet again. Nat gas going for new lows on the session. Again, there is a gap fill on UNG, which is sitting right around here. We'll put it on the chart. It's 1486. That's kind of my next ad level for this day trade at 1486. I mean, if you want to cut it, you could probably cut it if we breach this low of day. But I still think that NAC gas is into some decent chart support, daily chart support, that we could see a little minor bounce. Anybody looking at any other tickers that they want me to pull up? Feel free to type them in the chat. Meta is starting to come in now, guys. Meta is starting to see some sellers. Again, that gas is still weak. Netflix is slightly negative. China stocks are seeing a little bit of reversal. Apple's starting to see some sellers now, guys. So NVIDIA's still holding firm. NVIDIA's still holding firm. Mac gas going lower here on the session. Qs are still trying to put in a potential bullish pattern here.
gas still going lower. Fuse are still trying to press a little bit higher here, guys. All right, guys, high risk trade. I'm going to try a 439 put on the fuse. Zero DTE got filled at 78 cents a con. 439 put on the fuse, filled at 78 cents a con. This is high risk. Fuse are trying. are back to basically 78 cents break even QQQ trying to press a little bit higher same thing with Nvidia it's also trying to press a bit higher at the moment So you can see your high of day here on the queues. We've really been putting in lower highs since. You know, you almost came up and reached it here a couple times, almost here, which makes me think that we could see this market stay a little bit more range bound in the near term. Still holding NVIDIA short, and we're also in a QQQ 439 put, zero DTE at 78 cents a con right now. It's basically break even on the entry. We're still holding that long on UNG. How's your sound, Laura? Is it a bit better now? Trying to play around with some of these settings still. All right, NVIDIA is seeing a little bit of minor selling at the moment, but uh, Qs are still trying to press strength coming in through Google, strength coming in through Amazon and Meta. Tesla is trying to push up above 170, but now you have NVIDIA weakening, so this is going to be difficult for the Qs to break out if NVIDIA is seeing some sell-side pressure. So we are in the driver's seat at the moment, up about one cent a con on that QQQ put. Let's see if Microsoft, Apple, and Nvidia can sell off a little bit more. I think that we're setting up for a potential little decline here. A lot of people are trying to buy the breakout. Is anybody else struggling to hear other than Laura? Good here, thanks Bart, appreciate that. All right, so Nvidia is trying to stabilize here and push up a little bit more. That gas still weak. Seeing a little bit of a buyer's bid coming back into oil, coming back into marijuana stocks. Now 
it's fine. Thank you guys. Yeah, again, this is my first time using the streaming software, so I will be uh, making some adjustments as I go. Things will only improve from here. All I hear is money in my ears, Shamit. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, Qs are trying to press and break a little bit higher at the moment, guys. Qs are trying to break a little bit of this bullish flag, flag structure once again. NVIDIA trying to press higher. QQQ trying to break out here. It looks like we're going for the inverse head and shoulders breakout. Guys, I just added a few more contracts at 60 cents a con to those 439 puts. My average right now is sitting at 69 cents a con. So we are down the trade slightly by about 4 cents. But I'm, I don't think we're going to break out here because of the VIX and dollar still being super strong. And you can see we still have not made a new high of day on the queues. That was an attempt. NAC gas is coming up into our next ad level. Not loud, but you can hear me? Okay. There might be another master uh, volume switch that I'm just not uh, figuring out quite yet. I'll have to maybe do some adjustments on my actual mic. NVIDIA is still trying to press a little bit higher. QQQ seeing a little bit of sell side pressure. All right, our contracts are now in the money, guys. So we are seeing the Qs coming back down a little bit. Again, our cons are sitting slightly green. Up, Actually, we're flat now. Seeing Meta seeing a little bit of sell side. Tesla's looking strong. Apple's curling down. Microsoft trying to push up. Amazon's trying to break out here. QQQ now seeing a little bit more downside. Again, we're going to add to UNG, or I'm going to add to UNG at this 1486 level. That'll be our second entry on the day trade long side. Second entry. Oil is catching a nice little bid. It's doing a little bit of a four hour reversal off of the 8430 zone. It's now trading at 8485, trying to get a little bit of a bid higher. NVIDIA is seeing some more selling. All right, here's the Qs. Qs are now breaking down, so this is where our uh, QQQ put. If this pattern fails, guys, we're going to see a pretty decent decline, and we could see it even back into this zone. I'm watching this upsloping trend line here. That's where we could see if the Qs fail here, which at the moment it's looking kind of like it is, especially with Apple falling. Um, we could see the Qs come all the way down to 438.90, 439, which is why we're riding the strike zone. Still holding a short on NVIDIA, but again, that one's trying to press a little bit higher. We're up about six cents a contract. Six cents a contract. Qs are still trying to get a move. NVIDIA is pressing. S&P just trading in a little bit of a bear range. NVIDIA is still strong. Google seeing some sellers. Meta is coming in a bit. Amazon's trying to break out. Hasn't officially done so yet. It's up half a percent on the session. Amazon's trying to break a 10 minute bull flag, which would actually put it probably past the new high. You know, your high is at 187.38 ish, and uh, that would probably press it to a new high. So 
people just waiting on the cues. They are trying to move a little bit higher here in the near term. We're sitting at uh, break even on these cons. NatGas trying to catch a bid. NVIDIA is still trying to press a little bit higher here. But we are into that previous red bar breakdown zone. So we'll see if it can chew its way through this volume. As of now, it is. As of now, it is. Which is obviously going to help the cues if NVIDIA keeps pressing. Google seeing a little bit of sellers. Amazon seeing a little bit of sellers. Same thing with Meta. Microsoft still sideways. Apple's checking back to its breakout trend line. You know, Apple's creating that down sloping falling wedge. It's trying to break out of it today, but I think that we see one more flush down on Apple before it looks like a bit of a long entry. As of now, cues are still trying to press. So at the moment, the QQQ is up 0.4, S&P is up, sorry, s and is down 0 0.04, and the IWM is negative by 0.12. So the Qs are definitely where the relative strength lies, SMCI, AMD, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Apple. Look at the Qs trying to press again here. Qs are trying to press again. NVIDIA is pushing, so you have strength coming through Google and Microsoft now, and NVIDIA. NVIDIA is trying to break a little bit of this intraday flag pattern. Nvidia is a tough short. You know, there's a chance that it wants to press for that uh, 20 day moving average, which is sitting all the way up at around that 894.50 zone. So it's definitely lifting the cues here at the moment. All right, Nvidia is going, trying to break out here. Cues are also making another attempt at that. Uh, they did put in a new high of day, and we are trying to break out and trying to squeeze to this inverse head and shoulders target. QQQ is trying here. It's pressing. Still a lot of sellers in this region. You can see NVIDIA reacting, continuing to react. Volume is starting to pick up in this range. Amazon, Google, Microsoft still curling up. Meta curling up. Tesla curling up. So it does suggest that the Qs potentially want to make that breakout attempt. You do have a gap fill on the QQQ setting all the way at 442.32. So there is some uh, validity that the Qs want to push. You are also approaching some hourly chart resistance at 440.7. 440.7 is a decent hourly chart resistance zone. That's your 50 moving average on the hourly chart of the Qs. QQQ, no breakout just quite yet. I'm still sitting at 69 cents a con. 69 cents a con. And I have 100 contracts on the queues right now. Short. And NVIDIA, we're holding short. UNG, we are long. So another attempt. Look how many times we've actually tried testing this level. And we keep selling off. So... At some point, I mean, the fact that we're tapping this resistance, we're likely weakening it, but at the same time, if we keep getting rejected here, eventually buyers might run out of momentum, and they could check us back to that EMA and this upsloping trend line. You know, just like you kind of had this sell-off here, check back to the trend line. Don't be surprised if we have a flush back to the trend line. And then, even if we tap this trend line to the downside, you could still have an inverse head and shoulders. So that would, you know, there's a lot of breakout buyers trying to chase this price action here. And if they flush it, they would trap all that long liquidity that entered here, here, and here. And this would be the better position to buy on the long side if we check back to this, you know, 439 zone. And look at the queues in video. We're back to the green on NVIDIA. We're seeing the QQQ contracts now basically back to break even. Mac asks, as Dante said, your last video expect to go higher. Any change? Hey, Leo, thanks for your question. Um, right now, inventories that reacted poorly off inventories, I still think it's okay. I think NACAS is still positioned to move higher. Oil is getting a really sharp rebound at the moment, guys. So oil is almost trying to go... Uh, Back to that $85 barrel, you are putting in a potential four hour bottoming tail. Candle's obviously about two and a half hours still, so quite a decent chunk of time. 
Nice little decline on the queues, guys. Our QQQ puts are now up. Our Nvidia short is up. We're just really waiting on UNG. So the scenario here, if we lose this area, I think we can ride our shorts down to this 439 region. And then we can actually potentially try to flip long in this region, keeping in mind that we just have a very tight stop loss. So that's kind of how I'm looking and seeing things potentially play out. And you do have this pretty decent sized support trend line connecting this pivot to this pivot to this pivot. This was your gap up today. You know, so right in this region here, there's going to be a confluence of support. That's where I think we're heading back down to. UNG catching a nice pop. So now all three of our trades, both on the short side, Q's and Nvidia, and the long side are trying to work out here. Contracts are now at 76 cents a share, so we're up about 7 cents a con on the QQQ. Still really hard to hear, Eric. Okay, I'll try to adjust some other things. I think it has to be, since I'm talking away from mic, just give me one sec. I'm going to try talking into my mic like this. I'm just going to reposition it. How's that sound, guys? Is that a little bit better? I actually decided to... Uh, I was sitting down a little bit, just now standing at my desk. I do have a standing desk, so I should be standing regardless. But now we're seeing meta breaking down. NVIDIA seeing some sell-side pressure. I'm still holding my QQQ cons. We're basically break-even again. NVIDIA were slightly green. AMD were slightly flat on the session. Hopefully that sound is a bit better now, Eric. Yes, okay. All right, so I think it was just, guys, you're not gonna believe it. I just had my mic backwards. That was the issue. <laughs> Still trying to figure out some of this gain. It is great, perfect. Yeah, so I seem to have my mic backwards and I stood up and now I'm talking directly into my mic. So I know there's a setting I'm gonna have to play around with where it captures more of the surround sound instead of just the direct speaking into the mic. Right now I'm directly speaking into it, so it's obviously a lot better, but I still will have to figure out potentially a little bit more of the sound effects. All right, so we're still writing those 439 puts as well as the NVIDIA short and the UNG long. Hopefully UNG can start to firm up here and press a little bit higher. We're up about eight cents a con on that uh, QQQ put, but I'm looking for a little bit more. I still think that we get a retrace to the zone. Notice how you had so many breakout buyers trying to buy that breakout, and uh, now they are taking it in a little bit here. So definitely seeing the cues under a little bit of pressure at the moment. Oops, I guess there's some static. Let me see if I can change that. Sorry about that static, guys. Guys, I just trimmed half of my QQQ position at 78 cents a contract. Half of my QQQ position, and I'm still holding 50 cons on the downside. Still holding a full, or sorry, a uh, one fourth position short on NVIDIA. And still holding 50 cons on the QQQ 439 put. I'm seeing a lot of weakness creeping into Meta. I'm seeing a lot of weakness creeping into Amazon now. So we are continuing to see some more downside at the moment. Cues are trying to stabilize just a touch here. NVIDIA is seeing some more strength coming back into the picture. Google's still strong. Meta's testing that neckline break of that head and shoulder. So it does look like Meta's trying to come in a touch. All right, so everyone seems to be having better sound now. Hopefully, yep, Laura too. Perfect, Laura. Good stuff. All right, we're back kind of in business here. 
still riding this QQQ put. Let's see if we can get more downside. Again, cons are sitting at 78 cents right now. We're up about 9 cents a contract. I did sell half for about a 9 cent gain per con. Still riding 50 cons at 69 cents average. Mac gas still trying to firm up here, but really struggling in the grand picture. Oil had a really nice bounce. It's now coming in. going on let's see come on cues chop it down chop it down right now you still have the 10 year up 0 0.8 30 year up 1.28 so long end yields are outperforming yet again which should put additional pressure on this equity market um, never a good sign when you see long ends outperforming the short end of the curve. Bit of a potential bear steepener unfolding. Again, we still have that longest ever inversion of the yield curve where you've had that two year trading above the 10. Basically, the short end of the curve has been outperforming the long end of the curve. Just showing that there's still a lot of risk in the near term, near term inflationary risks. You can see the Qs are getting a really big push higher here. Really sizable push. Dixie's at the highs of the session, kind of running into a bit of a double top. Natgas still super weak. QQQ trying to make another little push higher. Pump and dump happening on Reddit. Let's take a look at Reddit. RDDT. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Five minute chart breakout. Look at that reverse on Reddit coming into the picture. You can see why it's reversing. There's this little bit of a falling wedge pattern. You had a fake breakdown yesterday. Now you're having a bullish reversal. You know, this one could squeeze. I mean, you're starting to see some momentum breaking flag structure. So this one probably wants to head back to, I mean, if you can break out of this little range, you're going to have some resistance here. That's your kind of your top end of your wedge. So right around that uh, 46, 41 zone. If you want to play it as a momentum based trade, uh, you probably could just recognize that, uh, for a stop loss, you really don't want to lose this little breakout candle, this impulse candle. So those cons are back to 72 cents a contract. NVIDIA is still holding that short. NVIDIA potential double top. If NVIDIA breaks this little trend line here, then we should see it move again back to this 880 range. UNG right back down to the lows. Is it too much to ask for flush on Netflix and Nvidia? Yeah, those are the powerhouse stocks right now. What's Netflix doing today? Netflix is actually seeing a bit of reversal. It's now negative. So Netflix underperforming the queues at the moment. So obviously that could be a bit of a relative weakness play.
queues are trying to push back up, guys. This could be a little bit of the breakout attempt on the queues. I am seeing the Dixie fading a little bit. So this could be where the actual the queues try to move up here. Just trying to see if we get above this little consolidation point here. So we're going to keep a close, tight leash on this on this Kiki Q chart because we have made numerous attempts at trying to break out here. So we've really weakened this resistance level. And there's still that potential inverse head and shoulders brewing. So just watch those QQQ puts closely again. We've already taken a little bit of profit. So we are sitting basically with the trade a little bit protected. All right, there's a little bit of a down move in the Qs. Weakness being observed in Meta, NVIDIA. Apple's trying to press a little bit higher at the moment, trying to break flag structure. Same thing with Tesla. Tesla's trying to break flag structure. UNG going lower. Our next entry on UNG is approaching, guys, so be ready. Be ready. Mac ass going lower yet again. Qs are trying to press. All right, Qs are trying to break out here. Another attempt. NVIDIA pressing, Apple pressing, Microsoft curling up. Meta's really struggling at the moment. Google's trying to break out as well, but seeing some potential sellers at this double top zone. All right, get ready to do a UNG ad. It is approaching fairly quickly at the moment. Now gas is still bleeding lower and lower down All right, Qs are trying to break out, guys, so just be ready. We will have to potentially cover these puts at a small loss, which is why we took profits on half the position, insulating us a little bit from a potential up move. Still seeing some sellers, though, in NVIDIA fighting this range here, but Apple and Microsoft, Google are lifting things at the moment. Amazon's pushing. Tesla's now pushing. So Qs do look like they want to try to break out here. Just a matter of, are they going to? Are we just going to stay range bound today? Or are they actually going to give us a little bit of a trend breakout? There's a massive gap fill on the queues sitting at 442.32, which is where I think we're trying to see the bulls press for. So you're seeing a lot of people trying to buy into this zone to try to press it to that 442.30 level, where you have that big gap from April 9th. April 9th, so... UNG still going lower. Oil still trying to move higher. Dixie's fading just a touch here. All right, Qs are trying to press for this inverse. I'm going to add my contracts back that I sold at 55 cents a con here. I just added another 50. So I just added another 50 at 55 cents a con. Again, it's super risky because we are trying to break out again. So my average now on those cons are sitting at 64 cents. 
So we are down right now. But again, we're we're working our average from the profits that we took on the first lot. Right now we're just trying to see if this resistance holds. Again, my average is sitting at 64 cents a con. Still holding Nvidia short at this basically break even zone. But we are seeing Microsoft trying to break a bull flag. Meta's starting to see some more sellers. Hughes could have a really big push here. We just gotta wait to see if we can truly break out of this zone. But it is attempting so. Whoa, there's a big spike there, guys, on the queue. So they are trying to push it now for that uh, target is that 442.46 of this inverse. That was a huge little volume breakout. Let's see if we get a back test. And let's see if the back test holds. If the back test holds, we'll have to exit. And if we start pushing above this impulse breakout candle, we're going to have to take a loss. NVIDIA is still seeing a little bit of struggling price action here, but the strength is coming from Microsoft Apple at the moment. So I'm very close to stopping out for a loss here, guys. I'm very close to stopping out for a loss, but I'm still holding. I'm still holding. Waiting for a potential one minute close above this previous breakout candle which it's attempting so, NVIDIA is trying to make a move higher here. Still seeing Apple, Microsoft holding up. Google starting to come in a touch. Same thing with NVIDIA. We're down about 14 cents a contract at the moment. 13 cents. Is this going to be a failed breakout or will we hold it? So they still haven't confirmed the breakout just quite yet. We are hitting that previous high from your opening range. Look at Nvidia, we're still holding Nvidia short. We're now down about 7 cents a contract. So again, my average is sitting at 64 cents a con on the 439 put. Come on. Break it down. Is this a potential failed breakout? Let's see. Hughes are trying. Hughes are trying. NVIDIA. Amazon's super strong. Meta's seeing more sell side. NVIDIA's still weakening here. Notice how NVIDIA hasn't made new highs on the session. You know, NVIDIA was really trading at the high pivot here. Qs are making new highs, but NVIDIA's lagging. So you're getting a little bit more participation from other NASDAQ stocks like Tesla, Microsoft, Google, but you are seeing some sell side pressure in Google at the moment and Meta. NVIDIA hard down candle. All right, UNG is coming up into this next ad target, guys. So UNG is approaching very, very quickly. QQQ cons are now sitting at 62 cents. We're down two cents a contract. And now we're break even. So again, we're just uh, NVIDIA's acting well here. I didn't get filled. There was one penny away from this uh, this UNG fill. I did not get filled yet. They were trying to bounce it. All right, our QQQ cons are now printing. We're up 68 cents now. Sorry, we're up 4 cents a con. This is your technical check back. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to actually cover half again at 68 cents. So I'm locking in at least 4 cents a con, and I'm going to ride the rest, okay? So just like we covered half previously, we're hitting support now. This is your previous little neckline. If this fails, then we're going to go back down to this, this region, this 439 zone. So I did cover, I did sell half of the contract, still riding another 50. Okay. Still have a 64 cent average. Now to give it up three times failed breakout. Yeah, potentially, potentially, right? NVIDIA is trying to fail here. So I'm still holding that, that short position on NVIDIA. And it is looking like it wants to break down. Qs are still strong, though. So this one could catch a break. But uh, it is starting to see some sellers. And I'm looking for a move to cover very shortly here, guys, on this NVIDIA. Even at this range, you're probably going to get some buy the dippers trying to come in. 
but uh, I'm looking to cover right around this green bar low, 883 or so. Qs are trying to press back up. They did hit some really big hourly chart resistance on the QQQ. It's your 50 day move, your 50 hourly moving average that's keeping you in check. So NVIDIA is starting to potentially break down here on the chart, and that's going to hurt the Qs. Remember, NVIDIA was the, is the outperforming NASDAQ stock at the moment, and it's uh, starting to come into touch here. So that could dampen the entire, um, that could dampen the entire uh, semiconductor complex just a touch, just a touch. But look at the NASDAQ, still strong. Bouncing despite NVIDIA breaking. Look at NVIDIA, guys. All right, I just sold half of NVIDIA there, guys, at 885. I just sold half of my NVIDIA at 885.30. 885.30. And I'm going to put a in the money stop loss on the remaining position right at this 886.85 level. So that was a nice little trade. QQQ cons are pushing right back up. All right, guys, I'm going to add to my 439 put again with those profits that we sold right back down here. I'm going to add to my contracts again. Contracts are at 55 cents, 54 cents now. Oh my goodness, guys. I just covered my whole position. I, instead of instead of buying, I sold. Shit. We still netted a little gain on that position, but I actually just accidentally sold all my contracts there. So I'm going to look to re-enter again. I can't believe I did that. That's okay, though. I still like the 439 strike. NVIDIA is still struggling here. UNG trying to bounce off of this zone. So again, I'm back in the 439 puts at... Just give me a second here. 58 cents a con. 58 cents a con now. NVIDIA pressing right back up. So we just got stopped out there, guys. We did get stopped out on the second half of the position. So nice little trade on NVIDIA. Anyone that talk, uh, took that with us, congrats. That's the um, nice little win. Nice little win. All right, so now we're looking at writing these contracts again. Again, my 439 put, I got filled at 58 cents a contract. 58 cents a con. Done that many times, I know. Same, especially if I didn't get enough sleep. Yep. Uh, Shelb, how did you know I didn't get enough sleep? I had actually a horrific sleep last night. I did have a horrific sleep. And again, just take that with a grain of salt, guys. If I'm feeling tired too, had a horrific sleep, you don't have to enter all the trades I enter. You know, sometimes I kind of caution people that if if you're trading and you're tired or you're fatigued or you're stressed or you're in a bad mental state, sometimes it's best just to take the day off. You know, I'm not taking the day off right now, but um, sometimes it's best to do so. Nothing wrong with uh, coming back tomorrow. Thanks, thanks, thanks. 
All right, Qs are still trying to press here, guys. QQQ still trying to press. Nvidia is getting a bounce. UNG's coming into that ad zone there. I just got filled at 1486. Second entry on UNG, guys. Second entry on UNG. My average is now sitting at 1496. That's a two fourths position. Two fourths position. And it's interesting to see Nat Gas stocks are under pressure today. Nat Gas down 3.68% on the session. Q's are still trying to break out here. NVIDIA big stick to the upside. Whoa. Look at that. So now we're starting to see Microsoft weaken, Google strong, Meta strong, NVIDIA firming up again. Amazon's going for... Um, wow, Amazon's almost that... Uh, Breaking those 52 week highs, it looks like it wants to. Amazon's trying to break its 52 week highs. So Qs are still trying to firm up. Contracts are now sitting at 52 cents a contract. We're down about six cents a con, still holding UNG. We did take profits on Nvidia. The Dixie right now has faded just a touch. Gold, silver firmed up. Now green, Spy, and Russell are also green on the session. So the Spy and the Russell are also green. So small caps are trying to catch a little bit of a bid here in the near term. Still seeing a lot of distribution here in NVIDIA at that previous high of day. Qs are still trying to hold up decently. Microsoft, Google's breaking out here. Meta's kind of lagging at the moment. Tesla, seeing a little bit of sell side pressure. Apple's trying to continue its breakout. But again, a lot of sellers just lurking in this region on the queues. Again, we're still holding 439 put, zero DTE, and we're holding a NAC gas, a UNG long. Basically, the next ad level on this UNG trade. Wow, we're coming down heavy on this NAC gas. Quite, quite extraordinary. Next ad level on NAC gas is going to be around 1470. Qs are still trying to firm up. It's now approaching that 12 o'clock time frame in roughly six minutes. So we're going to see if the volume wants to uh, firm up at all. Netflix turned back to the positive side. NVIDIA is trying to firm up and press QQQ. Still at some decent technical resistance, but uh, trying to break out of this little inverted head and shoulders pattern. Let's see what four hour chart resistance, daily chart resistance, your QQQ daily 20 moving average is sitting at 441.33. That is a really good shorting opportunity in that range. We are stuck under hourly chart resistance, which is 44070. But we are trying to work our way through that area right now. Bitcoin's under a little bit of pressure today, down 1.26%. NVIDIA still trying to firm up. QQQ still trying to press a little bit higher in the near term. Let's see if NVIDIA can chew through this. Keep finding this sellers at this 888 level. That's your previous daily resistance where you had a big red bar reversal. UNG is now down 5% on the session. Wow.
queues are still trying to press higher here, guys. There's a big ramp up in the queues, guys. All right. I am uh, going to wait for a potential back test like we did here. I'm actually going to add here at 40 cents a con. 40 cents a con. And then I'm waiting for that back test. My average is now at 49 cents a contract. My average is at now 49 cents a contract. And we're playing it just like we played it here, where it kind of went against us. Then you got your back test, but queues are trying to break out here. So if we get a back test, we're going to look to cover half again. So again, my average is sitting at 49 cents. We're down about uh, 3 cents a contract at the moment. So if we get a back test into this 440 range or even this previous resistance, and where we would have to take a loss is basically if we get above this 441 zone. So it's a big strike zone people are pressing for at the moment. It is trying to press higher. I'm down about eight cents a contract. Amazon had a monster, monster move. Same thing with Google and Microsoft. Still seeing unbelievable and wavering strength right now. So queues do look like they're trying to start a little bit of a trend day for the rest of the afternoon to the upside. Obviously, barring any political news, queues are trying to form a little bit of a trend to the upside. Again, this breakout target gives us a target of 442. So I think we'll probably get one more back test to this previous 440.50 zone. Except the queues have a mind of their own and they're pressing higher at the moment. So we are still seeing a massive move. So I might stop out of this trade, guys, in the next 30 seconds based off of a one-minute close above this previous high pivot. I will be taking a loss momentarily. 20 seconds decides our fate. Wow, look at the surge. Whoa. All right, guys, I took a loss on that position. My apologies. I took a 32.65% loss on those QQ puts. I apologize about that. So, I mean, we've banked a couple winners. One loser there still holding a UNG long. But that did go against us. So, I apologize about that one. Now, what we can look for is a backtest buying opportunity. If we get a backtest to, you know, this previous support here, we can look for a long entry. They're just squeezing this. Look at this. Whoa. That's a remarkable squeeze. Oil squeezing. Everything is pushing up here. Russell's now up half a percent, catching up to the QQQ. You have uh, the, the S&P's now green. Yields are green. The market is so bullish. Yields are green. Dollar's green. VIX is green. All indices are green. Wow. Everything is just seeing bullish flow at the moment. People are trying to chase this breakout. Oil's also pushing up. You're waiting for a 10 minute RSI 70 to short again. That might be a uh, good opportunity. That's probably a decent. We're at 65.57 on the RSI. And again, we are coming up into this pretty big gap zone, guys, on the queue. So. Look at this gap. There's a lot of people just waiting to short there at that 442. That probably is a decent area. I'm going to probably just short it with common shares in that region. I think that we can get a nice little pullback. Should be around 442. Yep. Yeah. So RSI is approaching 66.6. Qs are still ripping. And that's the 10 minute RSI. Look at that monster move. Jeez. UNG not really doing much at the moment. Still seeing downward pressure.
oil's trying to break out of a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders. How's the energy doing? Down 1% on the XLE. Let's take a peek at that. There might be a little bit of a long trade on some of these energy stocks. I am seeing, uh, let's look at XOM. Just looking at them on my other screen here, guys. RIG. Yeah, big down move there. All right, guys, I'm going to try a high risk trade setup here. I'm going to try a long on rig here, 621 entry, long on RIG, 621 entry. I'm seeing oil starting to press a little bit higher here in the near term. 621 entry. You could also play XOM. That's catching a nice bid. I'm just going for a little bit more beta on the trade. And these are just common shares. Just common shares. So 621 long RIG. Let's see if we can get a bounce here. You are hitting the daily 20 moving average. So there should be some support in around this range. Big there, decline in the Qs. Oil's trying to press higher. Right now the Dow Jones Transports has firmed up quite nicely. The DJT has firmed up. Oops. Let me get out of this disconnect anyway. Cues are coming in a little bit. Cues are pulling in just a touch here, guys. Cues are pulling in just a touch. Matt gas is still continuing to bleed. Look at this oil chart, guys. So now you have oil almost trying to go green on the session. Oil's triggered this inverted head and shoulders, which is why we're playing a little bit of the long side on the energy stocks, because oil with this type of breakout intraday should go positive on the session. Takes it back to 85.65 barrel. And keep that oil chart on watch because it is firming up, which honestly makes me think that we could probably get another put play on the cues at some point. Matt Gas still struggling, really no bounce, UNG's down quite sharply. Oil again, still trying to have that little bit of a breakout. Good for your short on UVXY. Tesla's ripping here. Google's kind of seeing some sellers. Nvidia's still trying to consolidate bullishly. gas going for new lows
oil just took a little bit of a breather there. Microsoft's gunning, pushing up higher. Bitcoin's catching a bit at the moment. QQQ coming in a little bit. RIG weakening. Oil still trying to press, but softening just a touch on the five minute chart. Still no buyer bid in that gas. That just keeps bleeding lower and lower. We've now had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven consecutive hours of selling in that gas. Very oversold hourly chart RSI. We've breached that daily seven moving average by about two dollars. A little bit of a positive divergence on the 10 minute chart. Dixie's trying to firm up now. So now you have the Dixie trying to see some potential buyers creeping back in. Amazon still strong, Tesla still strong, Microsoft still curling, Bitcoin's curling up. QQQ starting to see a little bit of sellers in this region. Nothing crazy yet. Meta's starting to come in. Meta's still forming a bit of a distribution pattern here. Head and shoulders, five minute chart is still on watch for Meta. Meta's definitely uh, showing some signs of distribution here. Again, we still haven't officially broken the neckline. We had a little bit of a fake breakdown here. But the new neckline would be basically around here. It is coming in it's just a touch here. QQQ as well. Still holding firm. EMG trying to firm up as well. How's that Dixie? The Dixie's trading at 105.38. The high of the day today was around that 105.53 area. The VIX is slowly starting to turn potentially negative. UVXY is still showing some signs of accumulation. It's up 2.41% on the session. Big decline in the Qs there. So a really sizable decline in the Qs. Oil still trying to press a bit higher in the near term. Really, the sell side pressure is coming from not really seeing it in the big boys. Google softening, Meta softening. Anonymous, will it give us an entry? On your QQQ short? I still don't have an entry yet. I'm watching it, but no entry. Waiting on that 70 RSI. 
Yeah, 10 minute RSI right now trading at 63.16. One minute RSI trading at 59. Hourly RSI, 55.7. MACA still bleeding, a little bit lower. We may not get that RSI. Looks like they're peeling it back, resetting it a bit, potentially for the next move higher. Again, that inverse head and shoulders has triggered. And uh, the upside target is really this 442, and it's just above that previous gap fill. I mean, QQQ, potential bull flag pattern developing here. ran out of steam potentially I still think it's just consolidating I'm actually looking at 442 calls on the queues cons right now are sitting at 58 cents all right guys I'm gonna take a potential long trade on the queues 442 calls I'm looking at them I'm watching them very very closely here still seeing bullish consolidation on Apple Tesla Microsoft Amazon Google Meta is really the only one putting in a little bit of bearish price action at the moment Amazon, Microsoft, Apple all look a little bit uh, still constructive to move higher. You're seeing Microsoft softening a touch here. NVIDIA coming in. Matt Gas trying to catch a little bit of a bid. Amazon looks like it wants a new 52-week high, guys. That one just keeps grinding. All right, I'm going to take a 442 call in the queues, guys. Got filled at $0.60 cents a contract. 442 call on the queues. $0.60 cents a contract, guys. $0.60 cents a contract. Cues are trying to firm up a little bit, so 442 sits right up there. We're just going to watch these closely. Still seeing rig trying to firm up, Nat gas trying to see a little bit of buying pressure in this region. Still weak on the session, though. Phenomenally weak. If we break these lows of day, probably don't want to, I'll probably exit my, my calls. Okay, so if we break this little low of day consolidation period, I'll probably exit my 442s. But right now we're riding them at 60 cents a con. We're up about 2 cents. Nothing crazy. Rig trying to catch a little bit of a buyer's bid here. All right, cues are falling here, guys. Cues are falling. seeing some distribution in NVIDIA. So 
when video is starting to come in guys I'm gonna cut these early at 50 uh, I'm still holding I'm still holding actually I'm still holding still holding a UNG long BTP 442 call and a rig long Oil's actually uh, fading, guys. I'm going to cut this rig at break even just because I am seeing oil starting to reverse and it's uh, having a little bit of a failed breakout there. So I just exited rig at break even. So that one I'm just cutting a little early because WTI crude is actually falling, which is actually going to be supportive for the market if crude is falling. Uh, one of the reasons crude is actually falling, though, is because the dollar is trying to firm up here. And I'm actually going to probably potentially cut these QQQ contracts. I'm seeing some strength coming into the dollar market right now. And yields are also trying to press. So I'm going to cut these QQQ contracts at break even. 60 cents break even. So I'm all out of those break even cons just because I am seeing that dollar firm up and oils weakening. I'm all out of those contracts. We can look to re-enter lower. We can look to re-enter lower. They're probably going to try to pump it up on us now that we're out. But I just want to play it cautious. You know, it's been a pretty great week for us so far. So we just want to be a little bit cautious with our capital today. And because I'm feeling a little bit more tired today and I'm using new streaming software. So I'm monitoring a few different things on the go right now. The zero DT plays move fast. Look at that. As soon as we exit, they push it up. Wow. That's okay, though. That's okay. There'll be another trade. Apple going for a new high of day. Apple's trying to firm up. Matt Gas trying to catch a little bit of a bid here. Rig is moving up again. Let's see what else we got going on. Guys, does the sound sound echoey at all? We lost 350 so far before you arrived. Yeah, that's okay. We'll win it back. I'm only up $276 on the session. And that was from those first little trades on the queues. Oh, look at that. Our 442s. Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, guys. Shouldn't swear, but just like that, eh? Those algos should have been up at the high. Ah, not even going to look at those contracts. All right, we're so still. Let's just go back to the drawing board here. We're still riding a UNG long, and that's the only trade on the long side we have. Again, my average is sitting at 1496 with a half position. A half position. Look at that Dixie chart. Anybody looking at other tickers, feel free to put them in the chat. I'll just quickly do a little bit of a run through some of these other charts here. Let me actually move the QQQ down here. And then we'll run through some tickers here. So I'm just going to look at some of these high flyers that are moving today. See if there's any... Sort of me. I mean, look at this rent ticker, guys. Like, absolutely insane. Now coming in a touch, but uh, definitely pretty insane price action. Lululemon finally turned green. WBA is trying to turn green. Amazon still putting in a bull flag. Meta looking bearish. Very bearish price action on Meta. So there might be a little bit of a short trade on Meta, guys. Again, it is still seeing some distribution. Just going through some of the... Wow, look at that rent, REMT. Massive gap up. Massive gap up. Let's actually look at some of the uh, CNBC. What are the biggest market movers today? Let's go to this market movers section. So yeah, they're seeing strength in uh, Paramount. SMCI, Nike, GE, Lam, Wesson, Delta, Broadcom, Uber, NVIDIA, Lennar, American Airlines, and Airbnb. Weakness, Globe Life, CarMax, Gem Digital, Fastenal, 
I love Kenji Granger, General Mills or Genron, Affleck, FNC, and Moe Seiya. Interesting. Take out Para. Still staying some strength off the lows. Netflix still holding the lion's share of its gains. The video clarity is much poorer. Oh, okay. That's good to know, Paul. Thank you for letting me know that. No echo. Cool. IYR potential breakdown. Let's take a look at IYR. I may have to adjust some of the latency speeds in the back. So this is the IYR daily chart. You can see that this trend line going all the way back to your COVID low has been breached. The connecting those pivots. Yeah, this could be a breakdown for sure. This could be a large breakdown. Again, you did get that heavy downward candle yesterday showing some positive signs today we'll just look at the weekly chart these are still s holding steady at the moment the only thing you have to be aware of with IYR and again this is obviously the real estate sector so it is more sensitive to the rates and rates are pushing higher yet again. So IYR, okay, let's just look at this. So weekly chart, you're below that weekly EMA. I think the level that you need to watch for is this this little reversal wick here. That little 8440 zone. I think if you break that, then you're probably going to retest these lows. Let's look at the monthly chart of IYR. And you can see the monthly chart. There's, there's a couple patterns at play here, right? The, the fact that you're holding above that monthly EMA 113 is really strong support. Really, really strong. So look at the Q's go, guys. Wow, probably should have held on to those calls. That's just the way she goes sometimes. It is what it is. Nat Gas also trying to firm up a touch here. So UNG almost going back to break even. But discussing this IYR chart, you're currently below this little important trend line. I think if you get the monthly close below that, you could look to short it and just keep your stop loss basically above that trend line but as of now you could be also forming a monthly little bull flag the fact that you had your breakdown and then you got a nice monthly close back on that trend line and then a secondary monthly candle above this previous breakdown zone is actually short-term bullish for IYR so that could be a bit of a bull flag pattern developing and also what you want to watch out for is a potential inverse head and shoulders developing. Obviously, when you think about it fundamentally, if rates are pressing higher on the back of inflation, like becoming in hot over the next one to two CPIs, then uh, we should start to see, and we should start to see obviously real estate stocks under more pressure. And I mean, when you look at the consensus for the rate hikes now, we're only down to one hike. We're down to literally one rate hike. So that should uh, that should put additional pressure on the overall market because if we run into a scenario where with the next two CPIs come in hotter, obviously today we got PPI coming in a little bit light. Whether or not we believe that, you know, is one thing, but. Let's say the next two CPIs come in hotter as well and push yields even higher. If we run into a scenario where yields continue to press higher from here, then we're going to run into a scenario where 
the market has to price out zero rate cuts and potentially a rate hike. So imagine the Fed expectations, the Fed fund futures actually start to price in one rate hike, an additional hike because of inflation. That would not be on most people's radar for the year. So just watch this right now. I think if you lose this area here, then it's a short down to this gap and potentially this double bottom. But it's uh, shaping up to be a potential short. Let's look at regionals today. KRE getting more downside pressure, but hasn't confirmed the real technical breakdown. Shemit, uh, any thoughts on June, Apple, WWDC, and any talks on AI? The railway's late in the game, speaking over 1.3 billion iPhones. They will talk on AI and ISM have acquired a lot of AI companies. Maybe, blah, 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 blah. come late in the game, watch his variables, but with a bang. Let's look at Apple. Believe it or not, most people are leaning bearish on Apple at the moment, but uh, you can, with this head and shoulders pattern looming, you did get that death cross. But uh, typically, Apple, you know, this, this down sloping wedge pattern falling wedge pattern is actually trying to have a bullish breakout. So I'm actually in the camp that the market, the queues can actually sell off and start back testing some levels. We could see weakness back into the semis and Microsoft. Microsoft hasn't really gone through any sort of pullbacks yet. But I think we could be in a scenario where the queues the and the S&P could fall and Apple could actually start to press higher. We've seen where the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 have been having these monster rallies you know, up 1%, up 1.5%, and Apple's been negative. So we might see a little bit of a trend shift. I think I would actually lean a little bit more bullish on Apple at this point in time. I think Apple could probably retest 175 and maybe even 178, this daily chart gap pull. And then I think it could have a bigger move down in the grand scheme of things. So I think uh, Apple right now, it's not a short at this point. It's trying to break out of this falling wedge pattern. You can see it's up 1.3% today. A lot of bearish sentiment in Apple, a lot of people underpricing. You know, the thing about Apple is when rates actually move higher, think about how much cash they have on their balance sheet. They got one of the fattest moats around, and they're earning how much off that cash? 5%. So just by part, they're, they're basically one of the biggest banks in the world. So higher rates actually almost inherently help Apple pull away from the broad market. And what we've seen as the rate environment was falling, Apple actually took a decline because it was losing that edge. So because Apple has so much cash on its balance sheet, when rates go up, it actually parks that like a, uh, almost like it's a treasury play. You know, some of the treasury yields, you know, when you look at IBKR accounts, some of them are earning about 5%, 4.7, some of the brokerage accounts. So Apple's definitely earning a lion's share of interest as rates move up, which is potentially what we could be seeing Apple turning out to be, a little bit of a safe haven asset for institutionals to park their capital in the short term. Even if the stock market goes down and Apple goes down, they're still yielding quite a decent amount of return on their cash. So Apple's still looking quite positive. Interest rates are more bearish for it, you think? You know, in theory, yes, but that cash thesis, right? The balance sheet, I mean, how much cash does Apple have right now on their balance sheet? Let's just look that up. Like, look at that on it. 106 billion. That's crazy. 106 billion. Free cash flow. Pretty strong. PE right now, 26.11. Interesting. interesting our cues are trying to get a big bounce here 
Apple's trying to see some sellers coming into this range. Oh, for IYR. Okay, thanks, Tom, for the clarity there. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, definitely higher rates are bearish for IYR. Real estate is definitely affected. CPQ trying to firm up yet again. NACAS is a little weak, but trying to bounce ever so slightly. Right now, the best performing mega cap stock is NVIDIA up another 2.68% on the session. Uh, you have Meta down 0.3, Berkshire Hathaway down 0.31, Eli Lilly down, Visa down, Tesla's up 0.46, United Health down 1%. You still have the majority of the sectors in the S&P 500 red. Sectors that are green, XLY, XLK, XLC. So those are your mega cap concentrated names. Meta is having a technical breakdown to the downside. So Meta is actually now starting to see this potential head and shoulders play out. Let's see if there's any Meta puts. Let's see what these comms are going for at the moment. Meta right now is down pretty underperforming the market let's see so there's only eight to sell so tomorrow let's see put look at what is the measured move of this down so measured move on meta is another six dollars and ten cents from the neckline which puts us right around that 511 there is a pretty decent sized intraday gap filled down there at 511. looking at some contracts here guys on meta trying to see if there's anything worth playing guys i might swing 515 put on meta expiring tomorrow 515 put on meta Want to see how high these cues go? Right now, comms are around 277. Dixie's fading. All right, guys. I just got filled with 515 put on Meta at 279 a contract. 279 a contract. Expiring tomorrow. I'm gonna swing 515 put on Meta. Through to tomorrow. And again, that could even hit today. 515 could easily hit today. If the cues give up any sort of these gains at the moment, that could hit. All right, just looking through some of these mega caps again. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway again down, United Health, J&J, Walmart, Procter, JP Morgan, XOM, MasterCard, Chevron, HD, Home Depot, all down. Bank of America down 0 0.9, Pfizer down 0.4, Avi down 1, Coca-Cola splat, Costco is up about 0.9, ASML at 0.3, Pepsi down 0.6, AVGO is up 3%, massive move there. That's another stock that influences the SOXX and SMH 
very, very well. Disney slightly negative. AMD's up one. Netflix up half. Comcast up 0.4. ACN Cisco Merck all negative at the moment. 10 year yield still up 1%. So I still think there could be a sell off intraday. I'll go just be right back after Delta. Sorry, Jay. Give me a sec. Alright guys, I'm back here and we are seeing crude oil break down. Q's are seeing some weakness. The Dixie's trying to pop. Meta's still trading under that little neckline zone. Nvidia almost at 894, 895 now. Yeah, so this is a short range on Nvidia. Tough one. RSI is at 76, but you're into some really good resistance here on Nvidia. I don't mind if you want to take a stab on the short side. But look at this buy program, right? It's starting to uh, show basically a squeeze. Let's see this daily chart. All right, guys, I'm taking a stab here. I'm short at 895. 99 895.99 just with common shares 895.99 this is a one fourth entry thanks for putting that on my radar i almost forgot about that but look at that already getting a nice decent size pullback so 895.90 short nvidia Nice little pullback coming in. Decent sized pullback. Cues are starting to see some sellers.
guys, I'm also going to swing an 880 put for tomorrow on NVIDIA. 880 put expiring tomorrow on NVIDIA. Sold at two sixty eight a pound. Let's see the put. Meta is still trying to firm up. Sound going again? Is the sound going again? Sorry, I was just uh, talking a little bit out of the mic. All out of BP again. Premium, nice job there, Tom. All right, so at the moment we're still holding a long on UMG. This one's just been a, 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 you know, a shitty trade. It hasn't done much. Still holding a short on Nvidia at the moment. Ned is trying to get back above that LEC line. Let's look at the Qs again. Qs are still just putting in some potential bullish consolidation. They look like they're trying to move higher to that 442 zone. I know a few of you are waiting for potentially that RSI to get a little bit more overbought or short. Microsoft took a little bit of a sell-off. Apple's putting in a potential little five minute bear flag. Ten years still up point seven, thirty year up point nine, two year yields actually down. So you're seeing a little bit of that inversion of the yield curve. Starting to unravel just a touch today. Basically, the spread between the 10 and the 2s right now. 10 is sitting at 4.57, 2s at 4.95. So we're looking at about a 42 bit spread. Sorry, about a. Less than 40, sorry. Less than 40 basis point spread. NVIDIA is still holding strong at these levels. It's 10 minute RSI on NVIDIA is at 76.55 and climbing. 76.55 and climbing. You have the Qs trying to push higher again. Amazon seeing a little bit of sell side pressure at the moment. Google still remaining firm at the highs. Tesla still trying to press a little bit higher itself. Dixie's putting in a potential little bear flag. NVIDIA's still holding Nat Gas, trying to firm up, but still so, so weak. Still so, so weak on this session.
WBA putting in a nice little reversal, guys. So WBA, nice little reversal. It's now gone green. Potential daily bottoming tail on WBA being formed. So this could signify a little bit of a near-term low. If you look at this WBA chart, look at the support we're trading into. Look at this down sloping wedge. That's beautiful. This is a 2020. So going all the way back to September of 2020, almost a four-year down sloping wedge pattern playing out. And then you look at the support levels we're additionally into, this massive pivot zone all the way back to 99, 2000, connecting through these pivots in 2008, 2009 lows. And that's a, an extreme oversold chart with a positive divergence. You can see your RSI on the weekly chart made a low here, higher lows on the RSI weekly, but lower lows in price action. That's a nice positive divergence on the weekly chart. And you also have the same positive divergence on the daily chart. Higher lows on the RSI, but lower lows on price action. So this one could be in for a you know 10 to 20% dead cap bounce, even at the minimum. I think even if you're buying WBA as a longer term hold in this vicinity, probably makes decent sense. All right, let's flip back to the Qs. Qs are still consolidating bullishly on the 10 minute chart. You can see the cues are trying to firm up again. So the strength is now coming back into Apple. Microsoft still coming down a touch. But the cues are still remaining firm and trying to press higher. Our cues are trying to actually break out here yet again on the smaller term time frame. Still waiting on NVIDIA to show any sort of weakness. The Russell 2000 is up 0.39%, S&P up 0.26, and the Qs are up 0.7. So the Qs are still outperforming pretty much everything on a relative basis. Google starting to curl down. Apple pushing up again, new high of day on Apple. Amazon's trying to curl, Tesla's trying to curl. Dixie's getting faded a little bit, guys. So the DXY is running into some some near-term uh, near-term sellers. Now gas still struggling. Nvidia trying to press a little bit higher. Bitcoin's trying to catch a bid. Apple's now curling down. QQQ still bullishly consolidating on the 10 minute chart. Nvidia's pressing even higher at the moment.
video making a new high of B. All right, guys. I'm swinging overnight a TNA put, a forty, sorry, a thirty-seven dollar put on TNA, and I'm sizing these trades fairly light on the Friday. And I'm also going to swing a QQQ four forty put overnight, expiring tomorrow. And then I'm also going to swing an Nvidia eight eighty put, expiring tomorrow. So a few little overnight day trades that I'm eyeing up. Again, my my uh, and I'm swinging a meta 515. So there's four little overnight day trades that I'm actually swinging. Just some small options contracts. Meta, I got filled at 279 a con. Nvidia, I got filled at 268 a con. QQQ 440 put, I got filled at a dollar 38 a contract. And then a TNA put, 37 dollar put, I got filled at 39 cents a contract. So just a few little trades that I am prepared to hold overnight. Still holding my NVIDIA common share short that I'm day trading here. And I'm also still holding this UNG long, which we are currently down on at the moment. And these trades all could hit today. It's not looking as likely because the market is just seeing ferocious buying pressure in the semiconductors. But definitely these trades could still hit today. All right, NVIDIA is seeing some sell side. Qs are seeing some sell side. Meta also seeing some sell side. So we are now in the driver's seat. Again, some of those trades that we just took and holding overnight are actually starting to play out, believe it or not. You know, we're already up on the, slightly on the TNA. We're already up slightly on that NVIDIA put, QQQ put as well. We're up slightly, so. If those play out today, if all of those strike zones hit, I will be looking to at least pair back some of the positions and take some profits.
Our Qs are pushing right back up. All right, NVIDIA, we're in the driver's seat of this trade, guys. So NVIDIA is starting to come in just a touch more. So that's good to see. Oil's trying to firm up again. Now gas still exceptionally weak on the session. NVIDIA coming in much harder now, guys. So NVIDIA is coming in much harder at the moment. And that's going to put additional pressure on the queues. Nat gas trying to break out a little bit of this flag structure. Let's see if we can catch a little bit of a buyer's bid in UMG. So again, we're trading at 191 on the actual Nat gas chart. We did put in a little bit of a minor potential bottoming tail, but it's just a super, super weak chart in the session. WBA continuing. Google coming in pretty sharply now. Apple still holding firm. Meta is still at that neckline. NVIDIA is still seeing some sellers. Amazon still trying to press higher. Dixie is catching a bit off the 105.30 zone. So the DXY is trying to catch a bid. Qs are still struggling in this range, still putting in consolidation. Hasn't fulfilled the upside target, but we are seeing distribution in this range, guys. We are seeing distribution. Look at that breakdown there on the Qs, guys. So these contracts, whoa, and then you got bought right back up. So <coughs> there might be some news hitting the tape right now. One o'clock time frame, I actually didn't pay attention to. There could be an auction going on right now, which is why we're seeing a little bit of an increased volatility span. Yeah, so there was the 30-year bond auction at one. So that's what just occurred in the market was the 30-year bond auction. 30-year yield right now is trading at 0.93. So we are starting to see that bond auction. Remember, the 10-year bond auction went horrific yesterday. It went absolutely horrifically yesterday. Right now, the 30 year is up 0.93%. Hasn't really moved much. The data is still coming in. The data is still coming in, but that initial reaction was down, which makes me think we could actually push a little bit lower in the queues. Does make me think that. But again, we still have triggered bullish pattern. So we want to respect that at this point in time. I'm still holding NVIDIA short one fourth position. And then we called out those four trades. Are you watching the tape? Yep, I'm watching the tape. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me okay? Sound check. Sound check. Hope you guys can hear me. Sound check. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm watching the tape, Tom. You had me scared there. I thought I lost connection again. So a little bit of uh, volatility with that um, 
with that note auction that's transpiring right now the data is still coming in initial reaction was down it got gobbled all the way up and now you are seeing the queues trying to push even more whoa look at that big surge look at that it's monster move in the queues so the 30-year note auction is obviously being taken well at the moment. Cool. Monster surge in the queues and the rustle. Everything across the board is just ripping at the moment. Monster, monster rips. Look at that QQQ. It just hit its upside target and filled the gap. This is a tough short because we had so much consolidation. You know, it's a very tough short. We did have so much consolidation there. I would be more inclined to take a stab on the short side of the queues. Let me just figure it out here. Four forty two seventy eight ish. Four forty two seventy, four forty two seventy eight is where I'd probably take a short at uh, is that uh, on the queues. Four forty two seventy eight ish. Sound is still quite muted. Wow. I'm very surprised. Turn a few things up here. More gain. All right, so NVIDIA is still trying to press higher here. Same thing with the Qs. 442.78 is where I'm looking at a potential fading opportunity. But monster, monster move up on that 30-year note auction. The uh, previous note auction was 4.3. It came in at 4.67. So really no change at the moment on the 30-year. Uh, but markets are absolutely flying right now. So a monster move up continuing. I'm still holding short on NVIDIA. I will add to the position at the 900 hole number. 900 hole number. And again, we're only at a one-fourth position. All right, guys, I'm taking a short here on the Qs. 442.80. I just got filled at 442.80. This is a one-fourth position. Sh just common shares. You can play puts if you want. Probably just keep it to that 442 strike zone, but I am short. And we will add, I'll add personally every 50 cents higher to this NASDAQ short. And again, it's a one fourth position. It's a one fourth position on the NASDAQ short. Still holding NVIDIA, still holding UNG long. And we just started an NQ short here, okay? Sorry, a QQQ short, not an NQ short. Meta had a really big rip. Pretty much everything caught a bid there. Even resource stocks, you know, are catching a bid now. They've been under pressure. Oil's trying to move up. Lulu, WBA, everything trying to press a little bit higher here in the near term. And the Dixie faded. 30 year yield is now fading. So you are getting some fading price action in the 30-year yield. The RSI is now at 68.6 on the 10-minute QQQ chart.
still seeing pretty good strength at the moment. Amazon seeing some sellers now. Apple's pressing higher. Microsoft still hasn't broken out of its high of day, even with the surge. Nvidia is starting to come in. There comes the Qs. A little bit of the QQQ reaction. Dixie's being faded, guys. The VIX has also turned red on the session. Nat Gas is trying to firm up a touch. Dixie's uh, being faded. It's at 105.30, only up 0.12% at the moment. So the DXY is seeing some, some sellers. Netflix is pushing up, trying to test the high of day. You have NVIDIA still pressing, Apple, Tesla still pressing, Google, Meta still trying to firm up here. A lot of strength coming into the NASDAQ off of that 30-year auction. Again, our next ad level in the queues is approaching here. 443.20 is our second entry. 443.20 is our second entry. Hasn't hit it yet. Still just waiting. Qs are now up 1% on the session. Cues are continuing to try to put in a new high of day. Again, we have fulfilled the upside measured move of that inverse head and shoulders. So we did fulfill the measured move. Now it's just a matter of do the cues pull back at all or do they stay elevated in this range? Does the market hold the lion's share of its gains? Or do we see some distribution? Apple's still ripping here. Apple's now approaching the 20-day moving average, which is sitting at 171.35. 171.35. Gold, silver doing well. 30-year yield has faded. It's only up 0.67%. So that's one of the reasons why the market's absolutely rallied here.
All right, queues are coming up into that next ad zone, guys. All right, I just got filled there at 443.20 on our second entry on the short side. My average is now sitting at 442.99. And we're still continuing to squeeze. There's your 70 on the RSI. Your 10 minute RSI has crossed over 70 on the Qs. Next ad level on NVIDIA is still at that 900 hole number. So we only have a one fourth position short common shares on NVIDIA and a half position short on the queues, just common shares. Queues are still pressing here. Pretty incredible strength occurring. NVIDIA still strong, Apple still strong, Microsoft's still trying to press. Oops, sorry about that. Cues are now coming in a touch, guys. Cues are now coming in a touch. Pretty decent decline on Apple starting to occur. Or sorry, Microsoft, not Apple. Apple's still at the highs and pressing. Apple's just monster up 2.1% today and climbing. It's outperforming Microsoft. It is the second best performing mega cap just behind Nvidia. All right, so Qs are seeing a little bit of sell side pressure. Nothing crazy, but just some minor sell side pressure in this range. QQQ up 1.1, SPY up half, Russell's up 0.7. Amazon new high of day, Apple new high of day, Tesla's still pushing, Nvidia coming in a touch. NVIDIA is starting to uh, see some downward pressure. Nat Gas is also trying to catch a little bit of a bid, still down 3.23%. If it can recapture that seven day moving average, Nat Gas, which is sitting at 192, that would be a positive sign. Oil still is, a, is appearing to put in a potential inverse head and shoulders consolidation pattern. Remember, we tried breaking out here, it got rejected. Now you're still potentially putting in another inverse head and shoulders pattern so still seeing signs of accumulation is the sound any better paul laura tried playing around with the gain a little bit more so hopefully it's starting to improve <clears throat> I 
Amazon's still ripping. Whoa, look at Amazon's chart. That's a monster. UNG trying to firm up. We're basically back to the flat side on UNG. So we are on the flat side. QQQ new high there. QQQ did put in a new high. Look at that. Whoa, cues are just monstrous. Apple's just flying here. I just added to my QQQ short there. Whoa, and they're just still squeezing it, eh? So I got filled at 443.71, and I did blast through that resistance. So my new average is sitting at 443.32, and then we still have one more entry on the QQQ short here, which is sitting at 444.30. That is our final entry on the Qs, if we are to press higher here. But a monster, monster move across the major indices. Definitely a monster move. RSI is now at 73 on the 10 minute chart. 73 on the 10 minute chart. It's improving, okay good, it's improving. All right, so Nvidia still really hasn't pushed as high as the Qs have. You've really seen more participation and strength in Apple. Apple and Amazon and Tesla, they've been ripping. NACAS trying to firm up a touch here guys, but still exceptionally weak. Still the Qs are holding up, 1.25% here. Oil's trying to press, Dixie's still softening, Apple's still ripping here. Here comes the Qs. Qs are coming in a touch now. Nvidia still holding short on the Q, short on the Nvidia. So we are seeing some downward pressure at the moment. Our Qs, again, still seeing a little bit of this pressure. Potential 10-minute reversal signal on the Qs. A little bit of a 10-minute topping tail. In terms of where I could see the Qs retesting and retracing to, uh, probably back to that gap fill, which is all the way at that 442.25 zone. I could see the Qs trying to retest that area. which would be a pretty sharp fall if it was to do so. Nat gas still trying to press a little bit higher here.
Tesla's still strong, Meta's still strong, Amazon's still pressing, Nvidia's Nvidia had that strong open start out the gate outperforming everything and since the queues have been having this monster rally it's kind of been lagging at the moment. It's definitely been lagging things. Pretty miraculous that we've almost negated that whole down move of the CPI on the Qs. Pretty crazy, eh? And the Qs are still trying to press here in the near term. They're still trying to move up. Big red bar down on that gas, basically right back down to the lows. So we're still seeing the Qs holding a lot of its strength. Tesla's still surging higher here. It's now up 1.2. Apple's still pressing. Meta, Nvidia's now starting to press again. So still unwavering strength in the Qs at this point in time. Still unwavering strength. Nvidia going for a new high of day. Still have one more entry on the queues at this 440, uh, 430 range. And then NVIDIA, we still have an additional three more entries. Really, you've had no real sizable pullback in the market, and you're definitely extended. And it just shows you how much people are wanting to hit that call buy button. PPI comes in a little bit lighter. 30-year bond auction goes decently well. And all of a sudden, CPI is forgotten. Inflationary trends are forgotten. One rate cut. You know, expectation is uh, pretty much forgotten. So just shows you how quickly sentiment can shift just with one day drops and one day pops. You know, whether or not this is just a potential squeeze before they take it lower, but the fact that the queues are basically almost back, almost into new all-time highs are quite extraordinary from my perspective. All right, so Amazon seeing a little bit of sell side pressure, Google curling down a bit, Apple still at the highs pressing, Tesla and Nvidia still at the highs. Google's coming in a touch, Mac gas is weakening, making new lows on UNG. So 
the not healthy price action in that gas that's continuing to bleed lower and lower here on the session. Cues are starting to come in just a touch. A little bit more of a decline coming into the queues. And then it gets bought right back up. Let's look at the three minute chart, putting in potential consolidation. 10 minute chart, still very, very extended. But holding okay. QQQ is holding okay at the moment. Apple's now taking a breather, hitting a high on the RSI of around almost 80 on the 10 minute chart. Taking a little bit of a breather now. Uh, 30 year yield is starting to creep back up, guys. The 30 year yield is starting to creep back up. Sorry, I was just playing around with the, my mic setting. Apple pressing for new highs, Meta, Microsoft still gunning, Bitcoin taking a little bit of a breather. You still have strength in Nvidia, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft. Qs are still consolidating at the highs here. We're still remaining short with a three fourths position. Still looking to add one more time if we push higher. NVIDIA still interested in adding at this 900 level. Nat gas keeps going lower now, trading at a buck 90. A buck 90 on Nat gas. Pretty relentless sell side pressure. Get ready to add to UNG again. This will be our second entry on UNG. Sorry, our third entry on UNG. Still interested in that for a potential bounce, but it is trying to go a little bit lower off of a potential 10 minute three bar surge. You are putting in a little bit of a positive divergence intraday. QQQ still hovering. Gold, silver are ripping at the moment, up 1% respectively. AVGO, a monster move today, up 4.25%. ARM is up 4.4. Meta is just slightly green, only up 0.13. Google's up 1.5. Amazon's up 1.5. Canopy growth down 10.
Nvidia is starting to weaken just a touch. Microsoft, Apple still pushing. Tesla still pushing. <clears throat> Netflix is up 1.3. Adobe slightly negative. Carvana's slightly negative. Datadog's up three. Square up 1.29. Rivian's down six and a half. Our Qs did make a new high there, but are starting to weaken a touch. NVIDIA is seeing a little bit of sellers. Apple's still just ripping. Holy shit, Apple's insane right now. Apple's insane. Look at that move on Apple. Quite extraordinary. It seems like now liquidity is coming out of NVIDIA and just flowing right into Apple. So maybe Apple will start to pull away from nvidia again in the near term we'll watch that closely you could also play a high risk play here 442 put on the queues cons are about 30 cents right now so that's probably a good entry off this zone 442 put on the queues zero dte 30 cents a con i'm just writing my common share short still But we should see some some weakening in Apple very shortly. We should see Apple retest the previous little support zone, which is right at around that 172 level whole number. Meta curling down, but uh, CCG, a nice reversal in CCJ and a cup and handle forming on the daily. Let's take a look at CCJ. So a little bit of uranium exposure. Just give me a second while I pull that up. Yeah, that's a nice uh, cup and handle. A little bit of a bull flag pattern, but I definitely see that. Nice little cup and handle formation. Definitely looks like it wants to push higher. RSI can easily squeeze more in the daily. Same thing with the weekly. So this one probably will break out. I mean, you just do a little bit of a measured move off of this flag pattern from that low to the high. You're looking at about 56 is your next upside target. Obviously, the actual cup and handle formation has more upside if you break it. So it's very similar to a head and shoulders. You just draw your neckline resistance. And basically, the fully measured move of this cup and handle formation could indicate roughly a move up to... 62 but use the bull flag since it's a conservative more of a conservative those are give your initial upside targets and then your cup and handle is your bigger upside targets so this one's looking primed and ready to push higher let's look at the actual ura yeah ura very similar setup definitely very similar all right so nvidia is continuing to weaken here as the queues are holding up we're basically flat on our nvidia short still holding a qqq short i do anticipate the queues to come down especially since nvidia is weakening but right now apple's just not giving anything up really the sell side pressure we're seeing is in amazon nvidia right now apple tesla are holding firm bitcoin's coming in a touch Nat gas still trading at that 190 level. Just seems stuck in this range. Slightly in the money now in our NVIDIA short. But nothing crazy. I'm looking for a little bit more.
Our keys are now falling a little bit sharper. Again, we're short the queues, short NVIDIA just with common shares, slightly down on the queues, and the money on the NVIDIA. Now, in terms of where NVIDIA is looking to potentially retrace to, I could see this red bar reversal, which puts us back down to about 888 on the chart. There could even be a retrace all the way back to down to your inverse head and shoulders neckline, which is down here at 870. If we do a little bit of a retracement, a fib retrace from this high, sorry, from this low to this high on NVIDIA, your first intraday, let me just tighten this up a little bit, make sure it's pretty much exactly at the pivot high. You could see NVIDIA's first fib retrace off of this bullish reversal is at 882. Don't think it'll hit that today, but there's certainly a chance. And again, cues are now softening a bit. That was a big, big extension move on the cues. Very, very big extension move. I wish I stayed in my 442 calls that we took earlier. You know, that uh, that would have been a nice, easier change. <clears throat> I'm holding 441 put at 30 cents. I'm so sad today. Yeah, 441's tough. That's tough. Yeah. That one's a tough one. Even 442's are going to be tough to hit, but it could. But the market's definitely in a strong uptrend today, so... It's tough shorting it, you know, it's very tough shorting the market right now. 441 is going to be a tough one for you. You're going to need some sort of a, a sell-off in Apple and Microsoft and NVIDIA simultaneously to bring things down. Could happen. It definitely could happen. But uh, that that's a tough strike zone. You know, and that's why I just picked um, common shares. I didn't want to go have that theta kill me. You'll notice how we kind of recently we've been doing a lot of the put options, call options. We're doing it in the morning on the put plays when we're in this vicinity here. And I decided to switch to common shares, which we're now flat on. Just because I kind of saw some of the increased momentum continuing. And I saw the queues outperforming. I saw XLC. XLY and XLK, really the only sectors performing on the S&P 500. And typically when those three sectors start to outperform everything, when the rest of the market's selling, it, they usually do pull the whole market up by the scruff of the neck. I just didn't have the conviction to hold my calls long enough because I thought the yields were going to stay firmer. Obviously the VIX was green, dollar was green, but those have faded, which has definitely helped the entire market. And that gas continuing to bleed lower. Look at the cues right back up. Really wild price action. So they gave us a l like literally one minute to cover or a few seconds to break out on break even on our QQQ short. And they're just ripping it right back up. Wow. Still holding, though. I still think we could retest probably somewhere around this gap fill, 442.50. Oh, you getting advertisements in your ears? That should only be at the beginning of the stream. You're getting advertisements midstream? That's some BS. I'm going to try to change that, guys. I don't like that. Just give me a second. Let's see if I can change that. I have to play around in the back end. But thanks for letting me know. So is everybody getting uh, ads midstream? So I'm going to try to fix that. The news is that PPI came in lighter than expected. So markets participants are loving the fact. 
is typically PPI comes in lighter. And then you had the bond auction, the 30 year bond auction, which actually came in soft. And uh, you're pulling off of a all time high on the market. You're tagging that 50 day moving average on the Qs. So there's a lot of momentum still trying to buy this dip. Look at the cues go. My oh my. Wow. All right, guys, I just added to my QQQ short there at 444.15. 444.15, I'm taking the fourth entry a little bit early. 444.15, if I can actually just move this down. 444.15. Took it a little bit early. My average now on the QQQ short is sitting at 443.63. 443.63. And that gas continuing to bleed lower. Wow, we're still pressing here. That's amazing. That is quite extraordinary. I'm even uh, a little bit shocked at how big this rally is in the queues. I'm definitely quite shocked as to how big this rally is. Wow. Okay, so Laura, it just seems like, I don't know if there's issues on your stream room, but a few people are saying no in the morning, yes. Yeah, there. I know there's ads usually in the morning, but uh, there should not be a live stream. I'll take a look at the settings later. Hopefully I can correct that for you, Laura. Jeez, Laura's just getting shafted here on sound, ads. Just give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, let's see what is going on. So Q's just still holding at the high end of the range. Same thing with NVIDIA. Guys, I'm gonna add to my, uh, I'm looking to add to my NVIDIA short here. I just wanna see the rest of the mega caps. All right, I'm gonna add to my NVIDIA short here, 897.90, 897.90. Doing a little bit of ahead of my other entry at 897.90. My average is now sitting at 896.88. So that's a two fourths position. So we have a full position short on the Qs. Average is 443.63. We have a three fourths position short on NVIDIA. Sorry, we have a half position short on NVIDIA. So I still have another two entries, a little bit higher, but average on NVIDIA is 897.90. So let's see if we can get some downside at this point. Markets are still remaining. Wow, so, so firm. So, so firm.
Ads are popping up and allowed on the stream. Yeah, I'm gonna try to correct that, guys, because that shouldn't be occurring. At least not midstream. That's a little bit uh, shitty. Let's see if I can change that. I don't know where the heck that is. Uh, let's see. Back end of YouTube. Why are you putting in ads? Cues are still acting well. NVIDIA is seeing a little bit of downward pressure. Uh, I don't think I can change it at the moment. Cues are still holding, trying to keep all of this theta and burn it. Anyone who's shorting on the put side is definitely, um, definitely getting hit here. Definitely, no questions about that. And the cues are still trying to press even higher here. Go figure. Yeah, I'm just trying to find this back end of the ads so I can take them off because I don't like them in midstream i'm just not seeing it here i think i can only do it before the stream starts i don't think i can do it midstream let's see visibility Yeah, Netflix 602 yesterday and today 628. Yeah, it's quite, quite astonishing. Quite astonishing. Majority of the sectors are now green with this recent rally. All right, let's see if the queues want to break down at all and give us some weakness. I'm just gonna be eating here a little bit as well. I'm still on the mic, but I'm just gonna go in and out mute for a second as I eat. I don't think anyone wants to hear me chew my samosa. Yeah, pretty much everything in Techland is a beast today. Everything in Techland. They're uh, pumped up mega cap tech, which has put an underlying positive bias in the market. Still have XLE negative, financials negative, utilities, and healthcare negative. Best performing sector is XLK, so the likes of Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, mainly your Magnificent Seven. Oil's breaking down and going lower, guys. So we're continuing to see oil weaken, which is actually a positive tailwind for the market. Remarkable that we've just had these mini pullbacks in the queues. We're all the way at 444. <laughs> wow.
<clears throat> wow, queues are continuing to grind higher and higher. NVIDIA curling back down. Notice the queues are making higher highs. NVIDIA is not participating, which makes me think that you could still see a decline because NVIDIA was the strong horse in the morning. It's what kind of catapulted the queues. And it's kind of been lagging the queues on a relative basis now. I mean, it's still outperforming. It's up over 3%. But really, when you've expected, you know, NVIDIA put in its high really here. Let's just see here. You know, NVIDIA put in its high here, and the queues have still been grinding higher. So NVIDIA is going through a little bit of distribution in the near term. Right now, Apple's Microsoft still pushing and pushing and pushing. No stopping Apple right now. No stopping Microsoft. Apple's 10-minute RSI is sitting at 84.6. 84.6. Broke out of its falling wedge pattern, and it hasn't looked back. All right, so Qs are still just consoling this range. NVIDIA is trying to come down. NACA is trying to firm up just a touch. So when you run into a scenario like this where <clears throat> the queues are just in a strong trending session, there will be a pullback, very, very extended on the intraday time frame. But this type of scenario, um, you just have to exercise a little bit of patience. That's why it's always tough with the put options and calls because, you know, you don't have time. Time is obviously ticking against you, and that's what we're observing here is that the market makers are just squeezing things a little bit higher and higher and higher, burning that theta. And we probably will maybe see a late day sell off at some point. We will get a sell off. There will be some profit taking ahead of Friday.
Shemitz looking at the three minute on the QQQ. Let's look at the three minute chart. Wow, Qs are still pushing for new highs, guys. Uh, look at the flag on the three minute QQ. Damn, common retrace right at the end. Hmm. Yeah, you're starting to put in some negative divergences on the Qs intraday. Nvidia coming in a touch, seeing uh, uh, Google stopping at this point. Amazon's taking a bit of a breather, back testing its. Uh, Ooh, did Amazon make a new all time high today? No, it couldn't have. Let's see. I'm trying to see Amazon's chart. Oh, wow. Yeah, Amazon did make a new all time high today. Whoa. Pretty crazy. Off of a one, two, three, four week surge to a new all time high. Quite incredible. So Amazon's now consolidating <coughs> at its all time high price. Qs are still pushing. Big dump on NVIDIA. I'm surprised the Qs haven't been hit off of that. I'm very surprised. Basically flat on NVIDIA now. So Google's starting to come in. Apple's still pushing. Tesla's still pushing. Up 1.39% on the Qs. Apple's up over 3.2. It's actually outperforming NVIDIA now. Qs are still gunning here. New highs on the Q. Whoa, did anyone see that, Wick? Holy. What the heck was that? Jeez. 445.36 tagged in the blink of an eye. That could be the high of day. That type of a Wick up. Jeez. Whoa, that was insane. That was insane. <clears throat> I don't even think brokerages reacted that fast. That was quite extraordinary, that wick. All right, so NVIDIA, we're back to the flat side. Still waiting on the Qs to pull in a little bit. Microsoft's still gunning. You have Google coming in a little bit. Apple's still surging. You just close your long on the QQQ. And now we're probably going to come in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. That was a big wick on the Qs. Look at this QQQ hourly chart. Look at, or the, even the daily chart is interesting. I'll show you the hourly chart just for reference. But what we just wicked into there is really that, that little trend line. So we wicked up into that zone, getting slightly rejected, still holding on un unbelievable strength. But Nvidia is starting to weaken. Microsoft's trying to break out of a bullish wedge pattern. Google's putting in a potential five minute topping tail. Qs are still holding steady. Tesla's still trying to push. <coughs> Nvidia's weakening a little bit. That gas trying to firm up a touch, still weak on this session, down 4%. Oil's down 1.14. So, I mean, you're having this kind of this um, extra strength in the market because now gas is weak, oil's weak, yields have softened, dollars softened from the highs. You got that positive PPI print. So, I mean, people are expecting that inflation is no longer a problem because PPI is coming soft.
Hey, Bart is asking about uh, Apple. Would you short here? You could take a stab, but I mean, Apple's on the daily chart. Has just had a technical breakout. There's so many fund managers that are now underweighted in Apple due to the recent sell-off. So this one might just stay firm all day. I mean, you're extremely overbought. 10-minute chart, you've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Almost 11 consecutive 10-minute green candles. So I mean, you're definitely extended, but um, tough name to short. Just like the Qs. I mean, we're shorting it and, and losing on the trade right now. Same thing with NVIDIA. It's been teetering on this area. So it's a tough, tough market to short at this point in time. It's very difficult. You know, if you want to take a stab at Apple here, you could. You could certainly do it. You are hitting the weekly 7MA. You're actually piercing that. So I have no issues trying here. Just uh, make sure you um, keep your risk tight. Cues are right back to the highs there. Wow. Quite extraordinary rally. Wow, look at this. This is remarkable. We're basically negating that whole CPI dump, guys. That whole CPI dump we are negating. All right, I'm going to take a fifth entry here on the Qs 445.33. I'm just going with a 5 fourths position now, doing a little bit heavier on the Qs. Don't typically do this, but this is an indice, so. It's not like it's going to get bought out. My average is now sitting at 444.24 on the Qs. NVIDIA still can add to my position at this 900 zone. <clears throat> and we are pressing. Sorry, I'm just watching. All right, guys, NVIDIA is approaching here. NVIDIA is approaching 900. It's almost there. <clears throat> wow. Still on wavering strength. Um, Bart, check your open position. You know, I'll uh, update the team. Thanks, Bart. Thank you, thank you. So, Mac Gas trying to catch a bid. Qs are still at this high point. We're just waiting on our common shares here. Still could see a retest lower on the Qs, basically back down to this area. But I think what we're seeing is a little bit of a short squeeze. So many people probably piled in on the short and put side yesterday. <clears throat> after that CPI print, thinking that things are going to go lower. And then you saw the dollar strength continuing today with the yields pushing up. And people are probably getting caught on the wrong side of the tape right now. Still have not added to NVIDIA just yet. But it's getting close. It's almost at that 900. That'll be our third entry on NVIDIA. No more entries on the Qs. This is our third entry on NVIDIA. <clears throat> but 
definitely a monster squeeze. I mean, Apple's just the extension move is absolutely insane. Dixie's still soft. Meta is still pushing. Microsoft still at the highs of the session. All right, guys. NVIDIA did tap 900 there. I did get filled at that 900 level. My average is now sitting at Still seeing the markets trying to press here. Oh, that was a big wick in NVIDIA. Did you guys see that? That was a huge wick in NVIDIA. Heavy volume. Heavy volume coming in. QQQ didn't even react, but that was a big stick. NVIDIA is trying to press even higher here in the near term. We're still seeing NVIDIA pushing for new highs. Remember how we said we were seeing NVIDIA lag? Well, now it's leading. Just a monster, monster, monster move. And really, your next resistance lies there. Apple still no pullback. Apple still showing absolute strength, unwavering strength. Knack ass coming back down again. Microsoft still surging higher. Apple's RSI on the 10 minute is 86.7. NVIDIA is starting to come in off that 900 level. 
Still very, very strong on the session. Right now it's neck and neck. Apple up 3.5, NVIDIA up 3.3, AMD up 1.5. SMCI's faded a touch. That one was a leader in the morning. Tesla's up 1.79. Microsoft's up 1.33. Meta's up 0.26. Google up 1.83. Amazon up 1.76. QQQ, new high. QQQ just made a little bit of a new high there. Massive resistance on the Qs is being tagged at the moment. Really sizable resistance. So the last little pullback we had was really just this little phase here. A little bit more sell side pressure coming in. Look at this Apple chart, guys. Wow. Quite extraordinary. Look at that. Again, if you want to try to attempt a short, I mean, you can, but just recognize this is a freight train to the upside. We've blasted through this gap. We are seeing Amazon pulling in a touch here. Bitcoin still negative on the session. Microsoft seeing some minor sell side pressure. Nvidia minor sell side pressure. Oil's trying to get some heavy volume in this 8470 range. People are trying to buy oil again. Nvidia trying to press. Apple's still relentlessly strong. So almost all sectors of the S&P 500 have turned green. The only red ones are financials and energy. And what's interesting is every sector was red except for XLK in the morning. And everything has firmed up and made a bullish intraday reversal. So this type of a rally intraday gets people bulled back up again. Which makes me think that we probably will see some sort of a late day sell off. You know, whether or not I'm biased because I'm in a QQQ short, perhaps, but uh, this type of price action, you know, based off of a PPI number, which really wasn't that great considering the CPI, 
you know, the initial reaction was yields. But I think due to the fact that that 30-year note auction helped, just like the 10-year note auction pressed markets lower yesterday, the 30-year helped press it higher today. But quite extraordinary to see such such fierce strength. I mean, I know Apple's been more oversold, breaking out of a falling down wedge pattern. Obviously, commodities are softer today, whether it's lumber, soft, oil, soft, copper, soft, NAC, gas is soft. So you have really the big four ones, lumber, copper, NAC, gas, oil, all soft today, which is helping things push a little bit higher. This type of resistance should see some intraday selling. I'd be shocked if we don't retest lower in and around this previous consolidation pattern. That's where you saw your first wave of selling. I'd be shocked if we don't retest this area. But this is a scenario where they could keep it buoyant for you know, the majority of the day to burn that theta, and then they could do a late afternoon sell. So, I mean, this is why we're in um, just common shares at this point, which is honestly probably the best decision right now. Because if you're in put options, you're just getting, uh, yeah, you're getting burned. You're getting burned alive right now. Look at Apple go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this market's not going to pull back on this Apple see some sellers. Up th almost four percent on the session. You don't see that every day. <coughs> Guys, I just added to my UNG at fourteen seventy. Fourteen seventy. I just added to my UNG position on the long side. 1470, that's our third entry. My average is now sitting at 1483, 1483. All right, let's flip back to Apple. Keep that beast of a stock on. Actually, we'll, we'll keep that, that gas on UNG since we are in the position. And I'll update you if Apple starts pulling back at all. You still have unwavering strength in Apple. Really no pullback since uh, since 12.50 today. No pullback in sight. Cues look like they're trying to go again. Wow. Netflix now up a couple percent. Does the current daily value on canopy growth look bullish, bearish, or neither to you? Let's take a peek. So CGC, under pressure, 9.21. It is getting bought up off of the low. So you're seeing, um, let me just erase this FIB level. So you're seeing a little bit of a decline in volume, which means that technically speaking, the sellers are starting to wane here so a little bit of a declining volume really since you put in this reversal candle so this one still looks bullishly i mean it still looks like it's going to pop you're still inside of this impulse green candle breakout here so as long as you hold this little low candle which is really sitting at that 804 zone maybe slightly higher actually around 809 so as long as you hold this impulse green candle, this downward descending volume consolidation is actually bullish. Now, even if you lose this green candle, you'll have a whole host of support at this previous gap fill and your downsloping trend line that goes all the way back to uh, that previous 2023 pivot. Look at NVIDIA, guys. Wow. QQQ just surging, 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 surging. Look at that. And again, it's Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA pumping now too. Ooh. 
straight rocket ship to the moon. New all-time highs. That's what it appears. That's what it appears to be on the queues. Now up 1.68% on the session. And just like that, we've pretty much... Uh, We've almost negated that CPI reversal bar. You know, take a look at this daily chart of the Qs. Quite extraordinary. Almost negated that whole red bar reversal down. We've negated that whole bearish gap down on the Qs off of CPI. S&P's now up 1%, Russell's up 1%. Quite extraordinary. Nat gas seeing some heavier volume. Trying to make a little bit of a bullish reversal here in Nat gas. Again, the markets have kind of been also very correlated to Nat gas. As Nat gas goes down, markets go up. As Nat gas goes up, markets are typically in a distribution phase. Obviously, Nat gas is down almost 6% on the session. Nice little price action coming in back into UNG. Let's see if we can build momentum on NAC gas. Oil still softening here on the 10 minute chart basis. <clears throat> is Apple finally going to see a down candle? It's due. We're into the final hour and a half of trading here, guys. Final hour and a half of trading. Microsoft, NVIDIA, Google all still pressing. Yep, QQQ just tested and crossed the April 4th high. Good observation. Uh, today, FDA head says there's no reason for DA to delay rescheduling marijuana. MSOS. Let's take a look at that. If you're giving MSOS a pop. Yep, look at that. Nice bullish reversal. Likes of canopy growth. Still showing some signs. Aurora Cannabis still putting in tight consolidation pattern. Again, MSOS is still... Holding that neckline looked pretty grim. It looked like it was breaking down for the lion's share of the day. And yeah, it's had a nice little red to green reversal. Granted, the market's strong, right? So you would anticipate that uh, that would move up. Still no pullback yet in the queues nor a little bit in NVIDIA. Nat gas trying to get a little bit of a buyer's bid at the moment. Nat gas showing a little bit of strength in the near term. Cues are still considerably extended on really all intraday time frames.
Laura says she's holding CGC off of that MSOS reversal. Yeah, that's probably a good trade. That'll probably work out well. All right, guys, I just added to my NVIDIA short 901.54, 901.54. That is my final entry on NVIDIA. That's my final entry on NVIDIA. My average is now sitting at 899.72, 899.72. So I will not add to my NVIDIA. Yeah, and I'm still bullish on MSOS. I'm still holding some call options. Aurora from yesterday, ACB. Another interesting one that's just pure, I think, pop speculation, high risk trade. I think this Tupperware Brands is due. We've seen so many small caps um, squeeze. This one really hasn't gotten going. I could still see this one having a massive, massive one day pop. Seeing a little bit of strength today up 5.9%, potentially putting in a little bit of a local low here. Maybe a weekly bottoming tail if we see follow through tomorrow. But this one, again, not a long term investment, just a trade. This one could easily squeeze back to two bucks, in my opinion. And then potentially, if you get momentum back to 250. But it's definitely a pure speculative trade. Cues are still pressing, guys. Wow, monster move. Apple still no selling in sight. Q's going for new highs. Wow, extraordinary price action. So again, you know, even these shorts, I may have to take a little bit of a loss on the Q's because this thing is getting, uh, I mean, I'm not going to cover up here. I'm still optimistic that we'll get some sort of profit taking into the end of the day. I really just think they're burning theta, crushing those options. I'm still, luckily we're just in common shares, so it's really not uh, that big of a deal. Even though a loss is a loss, you know, we're down currently right now, buck seventy two. And again, I have Right now I'm down about 650 bucks on the QQQ common share short. That's off of 400 shares. And I have 80 shares short NVIDIA. So we're down on both trades at the moment. Unfortunately, a day that looks like we're going to be taking a little bit of a loss. You know, it's been, uh, it's been a long winning run here in the live day trade room. Go figure it's on a day where trying out new streaming software, had a rough night's sleep. So things could still come back in. You know, there's still an hour and a half, but it is looking like... We may take a bit of a wash on some of these trades today. So I do apologize about that. The UNG one, I'm probably going to hold overnight. I think that this one 
I still like Matt Gas, even with the big sell off today. Typically with a big market move like this, you could get a gap up tomorrow. And if we do get a gap up tomorrow, that's probably where you get an intraday reversal. So I think that if we get a gap up tomorrow, I'll be looking to take shorts again. I mean, this type of a rally and no pullback is just absolutely extraordinary. I mean, Apple just keeps going. Now up 4%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I mean, a little bit of a learning lesson, right? We're not all perfect traders. Wish we were, but uh, this has definitely been a trend day. I should have kind of realized to get the hell out of this way of shorting this market. So, again, just as some learnable moment here. Back when we triggered this inverted head and shoulders, probably just should have stayed out of the way. I mean, it's just been a monster rally ever since. Just been a monster rally. God, let me see what I, we had those QQQ 432 calls, or 442 calls, where did I get them at? Just trying to see here. Could have, would have, should have. Wow, I had those 442 calls. I was priced at 64 cents 60 cents they're now trading at four dollars fuck i'm sorry guys damn jeez that would have been well over 600 percent if you're still in here crazy 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 extraordinary all right so down on Qs, down on NVIDIA, slightly down on that gas. Bitcoin starting to come in again, trying to retest 70K. Tesla's seeing some sellers. Apple's finally seeing a little bit of a 10 minute topping tilt at the highs here. Just very, very small amount of selling coming in. Approaching the final hour of trading, hour and 20 minutes left in the session. <clears throat> Google pushing up even more. So I think you've had You've had uh, Google make new all-time highs today. You've had Amazon also make new all-time highs. Meta trying to do so, but still kind of lagging. So bigger decline coming into Tesla, Nvidia now. Google still holding up okay. Meta's seeing a little bit of sell side pressure. Nothing crazy at the moment. Qs are coming in a touch. Nvidia almost trying to go back to the uh, green side here. MSOS taking a bit of a breather. 
MSTR is still negative on the session. Dixie is still slightly green. Cues are coming in. Can NVIDIA turn us green here late in the session? Come on, NVIDIA. Give us at least a little win here. Lululemon trying to break out of a inverted head and shoulders. If it does on the 10 minute chart, it could take you up to 356. We have NVIDIA falling a little bit more now. Oil still trading at 8450, back testing a critical support zone on oil. So it's like in one day you go from extreme bearish sentiment to now bullish sentiment and having the cues attempting a potential confirmed breakout on the daily chart. So what's really astonishing, right, is we're looking so, so bearish. And just with one big up move, 1.75%, look at the cues now trying to break out of this pattern. That's quite extraordinary. So tomorrow's a big day for the markets again. Tomorrow's another big day. They typically like to push it up on a Friday. So Apple seeing finally some selling. Finally some selling. NVIDIA coming a bit lower as well. Cues are still remaining firm and elevated. We're almost slightly green on our NVIDIA trade. <clears throat> Paul saying still holding CGC. NVIDIA getting gobbled right back up. Apple's still seeing a little bit of selling. Google's still at the highs, pushing for new high of day. Amazon pushing for new high of day. Tesla running out of a little bit of steam here. Cues are finally starting to come in just a touch.
All right, a little more sell side pressure in the queues, guys. We're basically flat on NVIDIA. So NVIDIA could be trying to retest this trend line here. That's probably your next big support. If we do flush and break down, it will be your EMA113. I'll probably look to cover in this vicinity if we get a flush around 898. Just because it is getting late in the session. QQQ still coming in just a touch here. Weakness in Tesla, Apple. NVIDIA, Meta, Google, Microsoft, Amazon still strong, holding firm on the session. So there's more sell side pressure. Our NVIDIA is now in the money, guys. So our NVIDIA is now in the money. I'm still holding. Cues are coming in. So we've just been patient with NVIDIA, slowly accumulating a fairly sizable position. I still have 80 shares short NVIDIA off of this trade. Come on, queues. Come on down. At this point, I'd even be happy if the queues just retraced back to our break even just to free up our capital with a break even. And just like that, NVIDIA is right back up. QQQ still staying relatively strong and elevated. Bitcoin still coming in a little bit, so is Tesla. Microsoft still firm at the highs of the session. Meta still firm at the highs of the session. Google still firm at the highs of the session. QQQ still holding up extremely well. Uh, healthcare just turned negative. XLV still three sectors are only negative. XLV, XLF, and XLE. So energy, financials, and healthcare. Again, your strong horse is XLK. Regional stay just barely positive. So. What we could be seeing, I mean, what's interesting, even with this huge rally in the market, the S&P, the Russell, the Qs, look at regionals. They're really not, they really didn't participate that much, only up 0.19%. Yes, they were red, they've turned green, but regionals are still showing us that, you know what, there's still probably a lot of risk in the system in the near term for risk assets, which is why you're seeing everybody today piling into mega cap tech land. So we're not really seeing the broad participation in regionals, which is telling us that, okay, potentially we're still going to see rates higher for longer, more inflation, and everyone's just pretty much getting into the safety moats, the, the stocks with huge cash flows moats around them, producing lots of revenues and profits. That's at least what it looks like to me. The Dixie's trying to push up a little bit. Apple's now coming in a touch. Same thing with Microsoft. 
So we are seeing some minor cell site pressure, just very minor. So we're back in the green on NVIDIA, still waiting on the cues. <coughs> cues are looking a little bit heavier at the moment. Let's look at this 10 minute chart. Still holding above that breakout zone. Let's see if they want to drop it down at all. NVIDIA, we're back in the green. Still looking for more downside on NVIDIA. Get ready to trim some of the position, guys. I am getting ready to trim some of the position. Still holding, though. All right, I just trimmed half there at that trend line. So we locked in about $1.46 a share. Still holding the other half. So uh, finally, NVIDIA Cooperator, we're able to squeeze out some dollars out of that name. Still holding 40 more shares short on NVIDIA. And I'm going to put a break-even stop loss. So break-even stop loss. All right, we're still trending lower here on NVIDIA, guys. I'll look to cover the rest right around this pivot, around 896-ish. NVIDIA getting gobbled up at the moment. Qs are finding some support. Wow, what a bounce in NVIDIA. But hey, at least we uh, pulled a little bit of profits at the end of the day. Still waiting on the Qs. Perhaps they want to come in a little bit more. At this point, they're still trying to hold that breakout trend line. Google starting to come in. Same thing with Meta. Apple seeing a couple 20 minute down candles. So you can see Nvidia breached that little bit of a trend line that it's been holding today, your higher lows. And it is bouncing pretty sharply. Again, that break even is in place on Nvidia, just in case we need it. Just in case. And it's a hard stop, guys. So they're trying to probably push it there because we're all putting our stops there. They're trying to hunt our stop. Come on, hold the line. I'm seeing more weakness creeping into Google, Amazon, and Meta. Apple as well, some slight minor weakness. NVIDIA is keeping things buoyant at the moment with a nice bounce. There is a potential one minute head and shoulders forming on the cues at these highs. So really, I mean, if I expand it to the one minute chart, we are trying to form a little head and shoulders. And again, it's only valid until it triggers this little neckline, which that should give us a downward move. If we break this neckline, we should flush to about this 444.50 zone. 
And look how all day we've been extended so far from the EMA 113. It's very rare to stay all day extended this much from that EMA. Typically you do retrace and back test it. So let's see if we can get a breakdown in the queues off of this massive, massive move. Or at least some profit taking. As of now, NVIDIA is trying to stop us out. It's very close to doing so, a few pennies away. Still seeing Meta coming in a little bit more. All right, guys, NVIDIA is about to stop me out. We're like three. Oh, wow. Missed it by like three pennies. Okay, still in it for now. We're still in it. Still in it. I missed it by two pennies there. Makes me think it probably will wick up there just to grab us. All right, there it is. They just stopped us out. Break even on NVIDIA. Break even. Got Apple coming in a touch. Microsoft starting to see some sellers now. So this is where the queues could finally see a little bit of break of this trend. Thanks for the heart, Daisy May. QQQ still holding steady off of that little neckline zone and getting a really solid bounce. Look at that. So right now the S&P is up 0.9, Q's are up 1.6, Russell's up 0.7, Dixie's slightly green, 30-year yield up 0.76, 10-year yield up 0.62. Another day where the long end of the curve is green and you've had this massive move in, uh, in the markets. Quite extraordinary. I mean, you typically don't see that, right? Another day where interest rates are moving higher by a decent margin today. But uh, market participants are really not pricing. And I mean, <laughs> what's so funny is you sold off yesterday because rates moved higher. Today, you had a massive rally and rates are still moving higher. So market equities are definitely doing and playing on their own terms. Bonds are getting absolutely slaughtered on the back of inflation. So you have the bond market, which is the bigger investment market, responding to the inflationary pressures. But equities are... Trading in a world of their own, perhaps because market participants are, are uh, pricing in higher inflationary earnings. NVIDIA is seeing a hard sell-off. Anyone still in NVIDIA? They, we are seeing that one come in a touch more. You can see this one's trying to trigger a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern itself. You can see that head and shoulders is 
if we trigger this neckline, it's about a $5 move down. That could happen today. We've seen NVIDIA make these massive, massive declines late in the session. We are approaching, we're into the final hour of trading. So let's see if it's another day where they want to keep NVIDIA green all session long, strong, 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 and then they flush it into the close. That strategy has actually uh, worked out quite well. Long NVIDIA in the morning, short in the afternoon. Notice how on the one minute chart, NVIDIA is trading now below its EMA113 and the Qs are still very, very elevated above it. Google's starting to curl down. Tesla's getting a pop. Apple's trying to get a pop. Microsoft's curling down. Meta's trying to get a pop. Who else? NVIDIA getting a nice stick. You're waiting and hoping for 860 NVIDIA? That's probably not going to happen today. Bart, 860 on NVIDIA is not happening today. That would be... Uh, yeah, that's not happening. You know, maybe in due time, but it won't happen today. Look at the pump that is coming into NVIDIA. Whoa. Quite crazy. So a good thing we actually covered those shorts on NVIDIA at the moment. So Qs are still phenomenally strong. Microsoft's pressing back up. Meta, Amazon, Tesla, Apple, everything in mega cap tech land. Continuing to push. <coughs> Excuse me.
Nvidia is still pushing. Bitcoin's curling down now, retesting 70,000. The question is, will it hold or lose that level at the moment? But Bitcoin's down 0.8% as of now. Tesla's starting to rip higher. QQQ also trying to rip higher. Microsoft going for high of day, Meta trying to go for high day, Google curling down. Google seeing a little bit more heavier sell side pressure from Google. A little bit heavier. Apple still strong. Microsoft still trying to push for highs. Qs are still firming up here. So a little bit of minor weakness creeping back into the queues, just a, some minor weakness. Nat Gas trying to catch a bid late into the close here. We're still holding that long on UNG, basically down two cents. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. It's been a tough session to be on the short side. We should have just held those 442 calls. They printed, printed. Apple still pressing, Microsoft still pressing, really meta Google are seeing some sellers at the moment. <clears throat> QQQ still trying to press even higher on this session. Go figure, eh? Go figure. Look at the cues go. Trying to break a little bull flag into the end of the day. Nat Gas again trying to get a little bit of a buyer's bid here. Still down, extraordinary down on the session. 3.73% uh, on Nat Gas. Interesting to see UNG down much, much more. Down 5.49 on UNG, only down on Nat Gas 3.73%. Uh, so a little bit of a divergence there, kind of interesting. All right, final 50 minutes, 49 minutes of trading. Final 49 minutes of trading. Google curling down. Microsoft now seeing some sellers. Amazon, Nvidia seeing some sellers. Tesla still holding firm. Apple still holding firm. Qs are seeing some little minor, minor sell side pressure. Nothing crazy though. Still very, very strong up 1.7 apples up 3.8 nvidia's up 3.4 so i mean the crazy thing about this market guys just from a technical standpoint right obviously everyone knows q's s p trading at new all-time high or all-time highs not today but they have been trading in this all-time high range for quite a long time now and really the market has established all-time high prices without any participation from Apple. So now we're starting to see participation from Apple. The big question is if Apple continues, say Apple starts to retest its daily 200, which is all the way up at 182, what could that do to the queues? How much buying pressure could that put under the queues? That's the big question. Still under a lot of its key moving averages. But we just have to recognize that 
the market, the second largest company in the world, had absolutely zero effect on pushing the market to new all-time highs. It was in a clear downtrend. And now it's starting to potentially firm up and break out. So that obviously leads to a recipe where, you know, Apple's still a big stock, big weighted stock in the indices. I mean, we just have to realize that. You know what? The Qs could, if Apple starts to push, it could create a little bit of an underlying extra bid in the entire market. You know, just when we were looking to turn the corner in the market and break down, <coughs> Apple comes through up almost 4% on the day. So quite extraordinary price action. Definitely is. But again, a one-day pop doesn't signify the trend. I am seeing heavy price action in Google at the moment, guys. Amazon's now curling, Meta curling, Microsoft curling, Apple's still pressing, Tesla's still holding. But we are seeing the Qs under a little bit of minor, just some minor selling. Very, very minor. Are we creating a right shoulder? Potentially, potentially. You know, head and shoulders at the highs of the intraday or daily charts have a higher probability of playing out. But it's tough for the market to break down if Apple's still holding up, you know, 3.8, NVIDIA up 3.4, Microsoft up 1.3, the SOXX is up 2.15. So you're still seeing outperformance in semis today. The SOX ETF is outperforming the QQQ. So that's the leadership that we have observed during this whole bull market is the semiconductors leading the upside charge as well as leading the downside charge. Today they are leading the upside. Cues are coming in a little bit more now, just a touch more. <clears throat> Microsoft's trying to lose the five minutes seven moving average, five minutes seven simple moving average. Meta is still trying to curl up. Nvidia curling down, Tesla curling down, Apple still sideways but holding the lion's share of its gains. Can we trigger a little bit of an intraday head and shoulders here late in the session? Can we trigger it? Again, if we do, could see a, you could see this play out today, the downward flush, but we have not triggered the neckline, right? So the downward target of this, if this breaks this neckline, we should see a move down to 444.50. But as of now, it has not triggered. It's not triggered. The 10 year yield is still up half a percent on the session. It's interesting to see that small caps even were able to participate. I think one of the reasons, you're, again, you're not seeing regionals participate with this strong rally is because of yields. So, I mean, as long as these yields stay elevated, I think that small caps will still come under pressure. Eventually, I think the NASDAQ will as well, but we just now got to watch for Apple because if Apple starts to push and try to recapture its uh, daily 200 MA, that could breathe a lot of life back into the queues for sure. Just look at that. Every little dip in the queues is being bought as of now. Microsoft is weakening though, so we should see a little bit more of a decline in the queues here as Microsoft's curling down at the moment. Apple's still trying to trend up, so is Tesla, Meta, it's really Microsoft, Nvidia, Amazon, and Google seeing a little bit of sell side pressure at the moment. 
Now gas really hasn't done much, still weak on the session. Netflix is up over 2% at the moment. Final 43 minutes of trading. You can see NVIDIA is holding right at that previous short zone. Qs are pushing right back up. Nvidia is softening up a little bit here. It's putting a bit of pressure on the queues. Google coming in a touch. Apple still pushing up. Tesla still pushing up. So Google, Nvidia, Microsoft curling down. Apple, Tesla pushing up. Amazon still trying to push up. Microsoft seeing some more heavy sell side pressure. Are we finally going to break this neckline or are they going to keep it above us into the close? We'll find out. Again, the markets have been strong all day, no pullbacks. Will they give us anything late into the session? Right now, the volume, let's just see what your volume on the queues are trading today. So volume on, volume on the queues today is under the average. It's roughly trading at 36 million shares, so sort of light could pick up it'll probably hit 40 million but definitely uh, a little bit of a low volume day today and every time we approach that little neckline they pop in video right back up QQQ pushing right back up. Strength coming in NVIDIA now. Apple and Tesla. Microsoft kind of lagging at this point. But definitely a big stick up on NVIDIA. Nat gas just doesn't want to firm up here. It's tried. It's trading at 190 on the Nat gas chart, 1481 on UNG. 
can see the keys are trying to break out again. Wow. Look at that. Keys are attempting yet again another breakout. And the strength is really from this monster, NVIDIA. And Apple. Apple just made a new high of day, up over 4.11% on the session. Final uh, 37 minutes here, guys. Any final questions, uh, definitely put it in the chat box. We'll see if we can look at some other charts. Then some of the biggest movers on the day. We went through this earlier. Paramount, Broadcom, Apple. Apple. Some of the biggest losers. Whoa, Globe Life. Down 52%. What the heck happened there? GM. Globe Life, Inc. Down 52%. What was the news on this? Holy. Bull life over down. Chocolate food. The heck happened here? Bull life down over 14 on track record for 100% decrease. Whoa. Wonder why. That's crazy, guys. For an S&P 500 stock, jeepers. Can't even think I've ever traded that. Anyways. Keys are still approaching the top of that wedge pattern. Trying to uh, break out yet again. Still seeing the queues pushing even higher at the moment. Apple continuing to grind, Microsoft coming in. Microsoft selling a little bit harder at the moment, guys. All right, NVIDIA's weakening, Qs are coming in, trying to break out there. Seeing Microsoft looking a little heavy. Apple Tesla is still super duper strong. So therefore the Qs are still finding unwavering strength at the moment.
All right, now you're seeing Apple starting to take a breather. Microsoft looking a little bit heavier. Amazon curling down. There's a little bit more of a decline coming in. Nvidia is still trying to push higher. Microsoft still selling. Tesla's now coming in. Nvidia is trying to push. Google curling down. Amazon now curling down. Apple still holding up over 4% on the session. Bit of a wedge pattern. This is a bullish wedge trying to break out. You had one attempt, going for another attempt again. Nvidia is still trying to press. The S&P outperforming the Russell. The Qs are outperforming the S&P, and the Sox Semiconductor ETF outperforming the Qs. Interesting to see Bitcoin down half a percent, MicroStrategy down one, coin up three. Apple going for a new high of day. Tesla's reversing now. Nvidia is trying to press higher. Google's curling up. Meta's just sideways. Amazon curling down. Sorry about that guys, my cat just climbed on my laptop. That's my kitty climbing on my laptop. Sorry Gigi, can't sit there. Apple still holding well above 4% on the day. Google still curling up, Meta still pressing, Nvidia now pushing, trying to go for a new high of day. Apple just made a new high of day. Still just range bound at the highs of the session. No real sell side pressure at the moment. Again, Tesla right back up. Apple new highs. Amazon meta curling in a bit. Nvidia curling in a bit. Apple still pressing. Remarkable price action on Apple. 
apple really from the open has had one, two, three, four, five, consec six, seven consecutive hours of upside. On the hourly chart, RSI 76.6, a little overbought on the hourly. Daily chart, not so much. NVIDIA is still gunning higher. All right, guys, high risk lotto trade, a little bit of a zero DTE play. 445 put got filled at 17 cents. 445 put filled at 17 cents. Looking for some profit taking into the close. Again, it could go against the shorts have not worked all day, other than a few intraday dips in the morning, which we caught a little bit of a win on NVIDIA. But really the indices, the NASDAQ has been a tough, tough one to play. Look at this, still going against us. Wow. Just when we enter, right, they take us. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Just hasn't been a uh, in sync market day for us today. The morning session was okay, but this afternoon grind has been has been a tough one. Final twenty six minutes left. Does look like they're trying to pop it off of this wedge pattern. Apple new high, Meta's at the highs, Tesla's at the highs, Nvidia at the highs, everything's at the highs, so the Qs are at the highs. Mac ass still lagging. <clears throat> MSOS still holding around at 987. Hasn't really moved up at all. Look at NVIDIA surging. Surging. So good thing we got out of that one. That was a smart way to take profits on that trade. Still seeing Apple trying to press even higher. Seeing a little bit of sellers now from Tesla and Apple. Nvidia still pressing. Amazon still pressing. Google at the highs. Meta at the highs. Some of the heaviest volume stocks, Tesla up there, RLYB, Rivian, 
Rivian's been hit hard today, down 7.6. Weak in a strong market. Not a good sign for Rivian. Neo's also down 3. Ford is slightly green. That GL is down 52%. AT&T slightly negative, down 1.5. Bank of America down half a percent. Intel up 1. Mara up 0.6. Amazon's still up 1.86. NVIDIA new high of day. A little bit of a one minute bull flag trying to break out. Matt Gas trying to firm up a touch here. NVIDIA's ripping. Microsoft's trying to push. Amazon's also still curling up. QQQ still at the highs of the session. Being strong. TCTC. So now you've had a scenario where you have the Russell sitting right at the 50 day. You have the QQQ now on the daily chart well above its key moving averages yet again. You have the S&P, so now you have the QQQ leading again. The, S the Qs are actually outperforming with today's rally, the S&P, holding well above some of the moving averages. NVIDIA now at 903.63. NVIDIA is actually trying to catch up to Apple. Apple is still pressing at the highs. Monster surge in Apple and NVIDIA here. Whoops, that's my cat again. She loves to go onto my laptop and sit there. And the Qs did put in a new high of day there, guys. A new high of day on the Qs. Look at that monster move. Quite extraordinary. Trying to keep squeezing this. So you are seeing a little bit of a decline now coming in. Oh, where is my cat up to? She's messing around. Sorry about the sounds. 
So one second, guys, I gotta hit this. Okay, so you're just playing around with the bracelet. Luckily, it wasn't any computer wires or anything like that. Final 15 minutes, well, 17 minutes, actually. Doing a little bit of a 10-minute topping tail on NVIDIA. Still Apple, no sell side pressure in sight. Apple's the strongest mega cap today. Apple, Amazon still pushing, Tesla still pushing, Google still pushing, Qs are trying to push up again. Little micro rally after micro rally after micro rally. Still no selling in Apple. Just a monster on the session. Let's look at that chart again. Look at that chart, guys. Wow. Let's look at the 30 minute chart of Apple. How about the 15? QQQ, new high there. Video pushing still. Did anyone catch any Apple logs? Hopefully someone did. What are those 442 calls at? Oh my God. Wow, 419, that's crazy. That is crazy. Final 14 minutes now. There's some selling happening right now across the market, but it's just cues are still too strong. They're the ones that are pushing up. So we're not really seeing any downward pressure in, in the market because the cues are so strong. Some individual names weakening at the moment that I'm observing. Nat gas coming in a little bit more. But the major indices just grinding and grinding. You have the S&P up almost 1%. Russell up 0.7. QQQ up 1.8. Apple up 4.5%. When was the last time we saw Apple up 4.5%? It's probably been quite a long time. It's probably been quite a very long time. Dixie trading at 105.22. It's almost gone to the flat side. 
so the Dixie's almost flat. Just look at this alpha chart. Huge, huge negative intraday divergence, still extremely overbought. But that really hasn't mattered all day. Apple was finally starting to see some sellers there. Microsoft curling down, but you have Meta, Google, Amazon, Nvidia, Tesla still trying to press higher. Laura caught Apple. Nice job, Laura. Next time, let the group know. Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone's responsible for their own trades. Look at NVIDIA, just a beast itself too. Video is seeing a little bit more of a down move now. Um, Amazon had a massive pop there over the last five minutes. Amazon had a massive high volume pop. A little bit there of a bigger down move there on the queues, guys. Wow, nice little decline there. Really sizable decline. Huge big bounce just like that. So cues are still trying to come in a touch here. Just a touch. Still super, super strong. Just back testing the breakout trend line here. I mean, I'm still holding this short that uh, has been against us really all day. You know, sitting at 444.24, currently down a decent amount on the position. You know, right now, down about a dollar 61.36 percent, just under 700 bucks on the session on this day trade. <clears throat> I think they might gap us up tomorrow. And then they could see an intraday reversal. So I'm probably going to take a loss on this QQQ short, guys. I might, what I might do is I'm thinking of covering half because it is a full position. I'm thinking of just covering half for a loss, writing the other half down 
maybe we get some weakness tomorrow but i think they might this type of strength in the market with especially with apple breaking out now you're going to have a lot of bullish bias you're going to have people talking about ppi coming in softer so i think they could gap us up tomorrow and then we could see an intraday reversal down again we'll see how we open and let's just see how we close in the final seven minutes here Nvidia is still at the highs. It's really Microsoft, Apple breaking down a little bit, but they keep pumping Nvidia. Look at this, 905 now. Whoa, Tesla coming in pretty sharply. Oh, so a bit of a down day here on TC's live channel. We has been having a down day in the live trading room for quite a long time here. So we were kind of due for one. So again, I apologize. Not all days are green. I wish they were. Certainly not the JP Morgan trading floor. I think they're the only ones that have had a full calendar trading year without any recorded losses. So, <laughs> which is pretty crazy to think about, right? Whether or not uh, that's kind of fixing the market, I think that's pretty much almost impossible to do for anybody. But in JP Morgan has recorded a trading year where they had zero losses. So right now we're down on the QQQ short. Uh, Nat gas at the moment, we're basically break even. I'm gonna hold that one overnight, this UNG long. That one I'm okay holding, we're flat. We did take a win on Nvidia, a couple wins earlier. But this QQQ short has just been a nightmare riding all day. It must, again, hindsight 2020 when we broke out of that bullish inverse head and shoulders. Probably should have just um, continued the trend. You know, those QQQ 442 calls that we were in earlier in the morning would have went over 600% from where we entered. If anyone still hold held those, you were probably laughing. You were laughing to the bank. But at this point... Definitely a, uh, a mixed market, a mixed market. Nvidia is still ripping. Holy. Our guys were green on our UNG. Yay. <laughs> Matt Gas trying to get a little bit of a bid here into the close. Uh, Microsoft, Tesla, Apple weakening into the close. Meta, Google, Nvidia just ripping into the close. Let's see if Nvidia wants to take a little bit of a breather. Just ferociously strong at the moment. It's now up 4.2% NVIDIA, trying to catch up to Apple. Apple's up 4.3. Final four minutes here, guys. Four minutes. Let's see if they pump it, drop it, or keep it range bound here. Video is softening a bit. They're trying to hold that little breakout zone. Apple's getting another facelift, so is Google. Nvidia is still surging. Final three minutes here, and they are keeping the cues above that below 446 strike, above 445 strike. So kind of in the middle point. 
does appear like they want to keep it here. Probably have a whole bunch of cons on the call and the put side going to expire worthless into the close here. Unless they give it a big drop or a big pop. Tesla got absolutely hammered into the close. Look at that decline on Tesla. Jeez, not kind to Tesla into the close. A stock that just doesn't want to seem to catch a bid getting hit even more at the moment. I don't know why my thing keeps disconnecting like that. Sorry about that, guys. Tesla keeps falling. Microsoft falling into the close here. Apple still pushing, Microsoft falling, Meta, Google still trying to curl up, Nvidia still trying to push up. That gas got a little bit of a pop into the close. There's the final closes in 22 seconds here. They are dropping it. They are dropping it. All right, guys, I just closed half of my QQQ short at the low 445.50, and I'm going to ride the other half short. So just freeing up some capital. Right on that EMA, I closed half of the short for a loss, about a dollar twenty-two a loss, dollar twenty-two share loss. So I'm still holding half of the position short into tomorrow, okay? And I'm holding UNG. So that's the market wrap. Um, tough, tough day for us uh, in terms of live trading. We did score some points early in the morning, but net, net, I was down about $462.80 today on the live day trade side. So again, I apologize about the live trading. It was definitely a tougher session for us today. So hopefully we can get back in the swing of things tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, so it's another weekly candle close. They'll definitely give us some more insights into this market. Overall, very strong session. Thank you all for tuning in. I apologize about the ads. I apologize about the mic. I will try to be a little bit more uh, <clears throat> ready for tomorrow because um, I have a little bit more experience under my belt using, <coughs> excuse me, using my new streaming software. So uh, tomorrow should be a little bit of a better day for us. On that note, thank you all for tuning in, members. Definitely stay aware. Uh, be prepared for tonight's daily analysis video. I'll have that out a little bit later, um, but I will get that to you before uh, sometime this evening and definitely before the market open tomorrow. So on that note, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you on the charts a little bit later.